Hey, Zach, how's it going? Hey, Rando, I'm doing all right. How are you doing? Not too bad. I'm roping you into one of these conference calls videos. Uh, That's true. Today we're taking... This one looks to be quite a bit longer. Yeah, uh, so for full disclosure, this whole series, <laughs> this premise is based around me calling my shots for video game conferences. <laughs> Uh, mm. and Zach, we're recording this like four hours after the fact, right? That's because true. Because we've been on total blackout. Because Jeff Keeley doesn't respect the working man. And, uh, I was at work during this conference. So we're recording it about four hours after. Uh, mm -hmm. now Zach and I both had an agreement kind of to not look at any news and kind of do a bit of a media blackout so that our That's true. predictions are that. genuine. Um, uh, so, yeah, I mean, we're doing this kind of blind. This one's going to be a little bit harder than Sony's to predict because, you know, mm -hmm. you kind of know what's going to show up at a Sony conference. Uh, but Sony stuff? Yeah, but Summer's Game Fest, uh, this is the conference hosted by the one and only Doritos Pope, Jeff Keighley. Um, <laughs> he's kind of become... His... Has he not outgrown that reputation So yet? here's the deal. Okay, for still, anyone who doesn't is know... Is he still the Doritos yeah, and Mountain Dew guy? For anyone who doesn't know the history of Jeff Keighley... Uh, I believe he started out as a journalist, right? And then he just kind of became more of a personality in the industry. Uh, and he started making his own game awards. It's something he wanted to do, uh, like the Oscars of video games, etc. Uh, and when he was doing this, he was paying it out of his own pocket. And he was offered a sponsorship by Doritos and Mountain Dew <laughs> to dress up like a pope and have Doritos <laughs> and Mountain Dew on the stage. Uh Jeff Keighley turned to this down, but people still give him shit for it. It's like a lose lose. I've seen for some Jeff. shops. Like, to his credit, he turned it down. Like, yeah. Oh, I like Jeff Keighley. Oh yeah, me too. I mean, I feel like that. I don't think that's a. I don't think that's a super hot take. No, nowadays, just, I think people have come around. It's just a meme. on Doritos Pope. Yeah, it's just a meme. But uh, yeah, so this is kind of his own third party friendly kind of conference. Like, if you're not a Sony, if you're not a Microsoft, if you're not a Nintendo. Uh, first party game, then you're going to show it off at Summer Games Fest or the uh, TGA, the Game Awards what? in the winter. So predictions for this one, Zach, kind of rough because it could be anything. Yeah. Uh, All right. Do we have a musical guest? Musical guest is good. So last year they had Weezer. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they had Weezer do you last think year. That I mean, they have to have one, right? That's sort of the thing, right? I mean, you would... They have to have a musical guest. It has to be a guest. musical guest. So every Game Awards, I feel like, has Imagine Dragons. Uh, okay. They also had... Are you calling Imagine Dragons? Uh, I could see Imagine Dragons. I could see them doing Imagine Dragons. Or Weezer, or... What's another, like, old band that mm. should not be still relevant? Yeah, that's the thing, right? Yeah. I don't... Uh, Green Day's here. Green oh, Day's coming. No, Green Day's not coming. All right. Are we calling... Green Day's two words, you plebeian. Is it? Jesus Christ. Yeah, come on. Right, I'm sorry. Thank you. Put some respect on Green Day. <laughs> like, I'm an American idiot. Fuck. I don't know how to spell. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we got Green oh, Day. Oh, man. I don't know if I want to put that down as my official guest for the, or a guess for the no, musical guest. No, it has guest, to be ultra-specific. Uh, I was 500. I was 50-50 okay. on predictions last yeah? time. I'm feeling pretty, a lot colder coming into this one. Because I don't, I don't actually think Green Day's coming. Uh, Not too late. But I'm struggling to think off the top of my oh, head. Who? Okay. Is, is Green Day together still? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. They, they yeah, still they're, making, they're, they're still making dude, music. It's a lock. Um, for reference of, are we doing one each or are we doing combined? Uh, oh, that's up to you. Do you want a have, Randy list and a Zach list? We should probably do a combined. Yeah. I want. Oh, you want separate? I want. I want, I want Warren. I want to. I want to win, Randy. This isn't good enough for. Uh, it's not good enough to be right or wrong. I okay. have to win. Uh, so then I'll have to pick my musical guest. You can take Green Day if you want. Is that how you spell okay. it? Okay. Is right. that how you spell yeah, churches? That is uh, yeah, that's Traverges. I think if we get a Kojima oh, trailer, which is likely, it's been a while since Death Stranding, Kojima has showed up at every one of these events, and he loves churches. Oh, that's so good. Uh, that's so good, man. So that's man. my guess. Uh, for reference of... They just released a new album last year? Yeah, so... I have pulled up here E3 Recap. Uh, this is a great website for anyone who doesn't know about it. If you don't want to sit through two hours of videos like this one and you're only going to watch the first 10 minutes, go to this website and you get a nice breakdown of everything that was shown. Uh, so this is what they showed last year, which is a lot. And it's a lot of big stuff like Elden Ring and a lot of really tiny stuff like the Rocket League Fast and the Furious DLC pack. 
So like anything can show up at Summer Games <laughs> Fest. Now, Zach, I I made a big deal last time about yeah. asking for Dragon's Dogma too. That that would be my like number one pick. I know you said you weren't too hyped about mm-hmm. anything in the games industry right now, but like if you had <laughs> like what new announcement? We, we, we didn't gotta put that on video. What new announcement would blow your socks? Off? Oh, okay. I think blow my socks off. I don't even know. Uh, uh Skate Four. Skate Four is a possibility. If we, if we see Skate Four in this video, I will flip. Skate Four is possible. If we get a release date. If it if we get a release date and it's 2022, that's what it would take, I think, for me to get super okay. excited about. Um... I think you might see Skate Four, but you're not going to see a 2022 <laughs> after it. Uh, they've been leaking some. If we, if we see, I was going to say they've mm-hmm. they've put out some like really early like pre alpha yeah. footage on Twitter, but like I don't think you'll see a 2022. <laughs> yeah, if we if we see 2023, I'll be pleased. I won't be like jumping out of my seat. I'll be okay. pleased, which because I think that that's even probably a little bit, uh, a little bit prob or uh, not in the realm of possibility. Mm-hmm. I don't think twenty twenty three, but we'll see. I I feel like a fun thing to do with these is to go through all of them and see which ones still haven't happened yet, because uh, I feel like that's a pretty good lock. Like Escape from Tarkov, that update doesn't that map's not out yet. Yeah. So definitely gonna see some Escape from Tarkov. I'm gonna go City map plus they announced an arenas mode which is like a 5v5 okay. sudden death like counter-strike-esque uh so i'm, I'm expecting that uh, uh what happened I, i'm seeing painkiller here what happened with that was that real painkiller to be announced fps no footage all they said probably was we're working on a painkiller game yeah is that what you want do you think i don't be think a we see it you don't think so I don't. Th- okay. I don't think it's. I mean, ah, it's tough to say because this is two hours. So it's maybe a we'll lot. See they gotta like fill a, five, a lot of space. Uh, like if we see it in like a five second trailer, like as part of like one of those trailers with a billion jillion games in them, maybe. Am I safe to put you down I don't for think painkiller? We get a, nah. Okay. Don't feel strongly enough. Uh, let's see what else we got on this. That's fine. Yeah, I don't feel uh, strongly enough. Do you think enough. we'll see Vampire: The Masquerade Bloodlines too? That has been Ooh. in development hell for like six or seven years. Hmm. I don't know. It's uh, that's the thing. It's tough for me to say. I don't. Oh, you got to call the uh, shots, man. I'm calling Vampire the Masquerade. Okay. Can I put? Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, can I put no? I do, like, Can I just make? You, yeah. No do you want vampire? no? Any of the Vampire the Masquerade <laughs> property? <laughs> as as solely as an excuse to earn points against that's Randy. Fine, that's fine. You got to take the counter. Uh, anything else on this list? Um, Planet of Lana and Sky. I have no clue if these even came out or paladins gen log yeah. endless dungeon i'm go- we're gonna see more I endless don't know. dungeon uh, i love those endless games uh amplitude studios they make good games uh do you think i think we're gonna fall see... guys is still relevant in the year of our lord 2022 you know i was looking at that one that one intrigued me i mean i think i would hazard a guess to say that they're probably going to show some fall guys content that seems like a like a games fest and game awards like baby. So this icon has game. some two B from Near Automata in it. Yeah. What was your? If oh, we go okay. Fall Guys, yeah. What's your crossover? Oh God. Um, I'll also think of one here. What studio is what's what studio or what publisher is Fall Guys? Did they? Well, they got Epic now, right? So like that. I think did Epic buy them? Uh, I think Epic. I, was out I on think it's free to play now. Okay. I think I think I'm gonna sound real dumb if that's not the case, but I thought what's so. What's the Fall Guys crossover? Um, Oh shit! Um, Cause near is so uh, out there. Death Stranding. Death Stranding. Okay. I don't think that'll you, happen. You, but it's out there look, enough. Near automata like, was I'm, real I'm, out there, man. <laughs> I feel like sort of in the same vein. I'm gonna go. Cause like they put oh, that's tough. they put Metal Gear in fucking everything, right? Like they do. Kojima was not shy about like. Uh, well, there was that. <laughs> I don't think it was Kojima's he choice. Didn't. I think it was more Konami's blocking it from sure. Smash. Uh, but I'm going to go sticking with another Japanese developed game. I'm going to go something from mm-hmm. Final Fantasy because because Automata okay. was Square Enix. And I think they'll go. Yeah, we did just say Square that. Enix again. We did just see that 16 trailer. Uh, Back for Blood. Tunic's really good. Tribes of Midgar. Evil Dead. Elden Ring. Okay, so Chivalry 2 is on here. I'm going to call a shot that we see the Chivalry 2 DLC. I think it's called like Tenosian or something. It's like a desert DLC. Sure. 
This one's tough, dude, because uh, it could just be anything. Yeah. Anything. So, do the big guys normally participate in here? Like, w- if, if I say something Nintendo, is it going to be like an automatic, like, no, fuck you, what are you doing? I would say a big no from Nintendo. Sony or Microsoft, maybe, if they didn't uh, want to show it at their own show. But I feel like Nintendo is, time, is their own beast. Is it time for Forza? I don't, I don't know if it's time it, for Forza or not. but time I've, for Forza 5 motorsport or yeah. horizon dlc which mm. one do you think is less likely to be shown at their show though i feel like i don't think it's an i don't think it's out of the realm of possibility for microsoft to announce something here and then like go in depth in their own show yeah, I think that's possible. That's what I'm hoping Capcom does with uh, Dragon's Dogma because they've also announced they're having their put, own showcase. So, put me down for Forza Five, Horizon Five, or did that, that didn't already come out? Uh, did Forza it? Five Horizon is out. Do you want the DLC or do you want Forza oh, Seven Motorsport or whatever number it is? Uh, or do you just want Forza? I'm good with you just putting Forza. If you do, okay, if you're gonna let me do that, I'm saying some for, Forza will be here. Fucking love cars. <laughs> you can love them. Uh, I'll, I'll, real quick, we'll get the confirmed stuff out of the way. So Keeley's been on a Twitter storm lately. Oh damn it! Uh, yeah, no, you can't take these pics. Uh, <laughs> Keeley's been on a Twitter storm. He, he's confirmed uh, first level playthrough for Modern Warfare okay. Two. Uh, Modern Is Warfare no Two Two. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so this is the sequel to what? 2018's Modern Warfare. <laughs> Modern Warfare 2, Episode 1. And what was it? Callisto Protocol gameplay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, these are the two confirm- confirmations I saw. I didn't see anything else. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, there was one more. Have? There was Cuphead. He said Cuphead, the delicious last course DLC, which has been in a five-year wait, I feel like, at this point. Uh, yeah, okay. Put it down. Ooh, me. okay. We're going to see. We're going to see some uh, Star Wars... Uh, we're gonna see something about Star Wars. I know it just they just announced it, right? Okay. What what are you we're calling get, for Star Wars? I think we're gonna get. Um, There's a couple things. I, I can't tell because they already did a trailer, right? For they get, for they're what? just gonna show the trailer. Didn't they just put out a trailer for this new Star Wars game? The um oh the Fallen Order sequel. I don't. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Because I'm like, there's like a lot of um, Star Wars games in development. There's that Quantic Dream right. ones, which I think got canceled actually. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. There's that. There the, was oh, the KOTOR the remake What's the... that's being made. And then the Fallen Order What's... one, yeah. Fallen Order 2. I forget what it's called, but uh, I think we're going to get a, I think we're gonna get an in-depth piece about it. Ooh, he's I don't know calling that... his shot in-depth. I like it. Well, I, I, I think it's going to be more than just a mention in a trailer. Okay. I, I'm thinking either they get their own full trailer or we get like a... I don't know if a gameplay uh, video is in order or not, but... I think we're gonna get something that's not just a spot mention. I'm gonna I'm gonna follow you. I'm gonna match you with my Sonic Frontiers gameplay. Ooh, because yeah. a video of this hit last week and it did not look good. Uh, and I think maybe they'll try and touch up some stuff and give it a good showing. I think it was leaked footage. I don't know if Cap or Sega officially put that stuff out, but it looked bad. So maybe they'll try mm-hmm. and course correct here. Uh, Is it Assassin's Creed time yet? Is Ubisoft doing their own isn't thing? It always Assassin's Creed time. Ubisoft isn't this year. They usually do, <laughs> but I feel like every yeah, so six maybe... months is Assassin's Creed time. I'm gonna I, Assassin's Creed time. That's my uh, if they're if, especially if Ubisoft's not doing their own, it's gonna be here. Do you are you confident enough in a setting? Mm, not really. What they do? They did uh, Egyptian Viking. They did Egyptian, uh, uh, like Greek viking do you think they'll they go ju- japan they just put i don't know they just put out origins on game pass so big brain here um japan i think could be good um what else haven't we People done people have been asking uh, for we done Assassin's like Creed Aztecs? Japan for like eight years aztec would be sick man if they did like a meso i'm going yeah yeah i'm going like aztec um like mayan sort of thing that would be absolutely sick uh all right, hold on. We got to keep the ball rolling. Uh, <laughs> what else are we going to see? What else are we going to see? Uh, Lord of the Rings Gollum. Ooh. So this is that okay. Lord of the Rings game focusing on everyone's favorite Lord of the Rings character, Gollum, and his story, which was so important. Is this a real thing? Yes. This has been announced for like okay. a couple years now. <laughs> uh, 
And for some reason, some executive at Warner Brothers is like, let's make a horror stealth platformer about Gollum. Okay. Horror stealth platformer sounds like something I'd be interested in. Let's disregard the fact that Gollum's story is so boring that Tolkien didn't write it. It's like, (laughs) what was Gollum doing this whole time? Obviously nothing important, says Tolkien. But so here's the deal. The Lord of the Rings Amazon TV show comes out tomorrow, I think, Mm. or Saturday soon. Okay. So I think maybe they'll do something there. Okay. Well, here. Okay. Then let me, now that you just said that, I think I'm going to expand a little bit into the realm of, uh, uh, TV shows here. Okay. I think we're going to, I think we're going to see, I think we're going to see a clip. I know that's probably not like a super, what? uh, the Lord of the Rings show. Oh, okay. If it's coming out. Uh, tomorrow. rings of power clip and put me down here too. I don't think it's going to, I don't think it's going to be, I don't think this is going to happen, but you know, you got to aim big, dream mm-hmm. big, right? We're going to get footage. First look, Gran Turismo show. Oh, here we'll go. World premiere. I mean, this has been announced. Is it a GTA show? Yes, based off of no, not five GTA. or four. Not, no, 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 not Grand Theft Auto. Gran Turismo. Holy fuck! Okay, <laughs> that a game. <laughs> this is just uh, that Amazon show. This is just uh, the what? Clarkson one. Oh, the Grand Tour. Yeah, it's just the Grand Tour. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, dude, I think. Considering the way that show is going, um, if if they actually just did, hey, we're going to do Top Gear again, but this time it's Gran Turismo, I'd actually be like way into it. Okay. Although Gran Turismo, though, sort of has like this like um, prim and proper sort of uh, attitude it's about bit, it that I don't think would be. Pretent- it has airs. Gran Turismo puts on airs. <laughs> yeah. I actually really like that, though. Like sometimes it's like it's nice to sit down and like be like, okay, this is a car game for serious people. And you like as opposed to. Forza Horizon, which is always like, yeah, dude, let's down some brewskis and go drive through some British walls, man. Look, look, Gran Turismo puts on a power blazer and puts her hair up real nice. (laughs) And then Forza Horizon is out here with a crop top and letting the hair fall loose, you know? that's Yeah, Gran Turismo is like the 50-year-old guy, like smoking a cigar (laughs) as he puts down like the the convertible top on his like Mercedes or something. Mm -hmm. Like, It's funny how true that is, though. Uh... Uh, there is one thing, another confirmation, okay. and this will be a contest between the two of us. Uh, Dwayne, the rock Johnson is confirmed to have some part in this show. Uh, okay. so I'm guess I'm taking right. picks on what this will be. Uh, I'm going to guess he's going to be in an arc two trailer because arc survival oh, evolved. Fuck. He was in the first uh, one. Terry Crews. I, be- I oh, believe shit. it was Terry. Right, right. No, it was, might've been Vin Diesel. It was one of the two. So I, I just assume The Rock, will, that's what he's going to be here for. I don't know what else he'd be here for. Oh, shit. I don't know. Like, my first thought is, like, Fast and Furious. But, oh, like, that's a good he's call. not, he's not, he's no longer associated with that, I don't think. Hmm. I think this was his last one. So I don't know if he'd be out there going, like, all right, time to promote the Fast and the Furious. But, who? I don't know. Okay. Any wild guesses as to what The Rock's going to be doing here? Um, Rocket League. Don't don't ask me why. It just I felt right. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're coming up on. I think we'll get a we'll fit a couple more in here, Zach. Uh, okay. I don't know that I have a couple in me, but sh- sure, let's do it. Uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, what well, we already kind of got Arc Two thrown in here. <sighs> It's gotta be one that I'm not thinking about. Do you think we're gonna get a Starfield mm. teaser, or do you think they're gonna wait until the oh, Bethesda dude, show? Phew. Oh, right, that game. Uh, I feel like if that has to be a Bethesda headliner, right? Like it has to be. Yeah, I guess they probably would. Oh man, it. Uh, I'm just gonna go uh, Marvel. Okay. There was one. Avengers 2, world premiere. No, there was one that they were... Uh, there's like two announced one. I think it's called like Midnight something. It was like a card game or like a deck based. Sure, dude. Uh, I don't remember the name of it. I'm going to feel bad. But... <laughs> I'm going to go... 
put me down for I don't know if Avengers two is going to be the one. Oh, do you um, think after how badly that first one bombed? Yeah, but I think I think they'd be like, okay, time to move on to the next Marvel thing. Like Marvel's still a cash more, cow, right? They're not just going to be like fuck Marvel. You're more likely to see uh, Guardians of the Galaxy too. That's what I'm thinking. I'm trying to think of something perhaps in that what is, vein. Uh, I don't rock like... steady. Are they the ones that make the Arkham Asylum, mm. Arkham City games? Oh, How long yeah. has it been since they've made something? Oh, I forget, but they've been doing something that wasn't Batman, okay. I thought. Okay. Uh, new Spider-Man. That's uh, a good Ratchet thing. and Clank was... Ra- Ratchet and Clank was a little bit ago. Uh, they just announced. Although I feel like that would have been Sony. So I don't think... I don't actually think New spider I think if New, new Spider-Man would have been a Sony headliner... Hmm. All right, it's like you have eleven predictions. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, eight. I don't feel nine, great ten. about mine. We also have eleven. So I'm gonna throw in a I'm gonna okay. throw in a modifier here just for the hell of it. All I'm right. giving you a times yeah, double points. two multiplier on one prediction. The thing I feel like is gonna happen the most. The most. Yeah. What's your times two? Oh, um I feel like no vampire, but I'm not gonna do that. No, I feel like that was already, hey, take yeah, your yeah. choice. I feel no, like I'm pretty I'm confident on go, one of mine, so. Um, oh, I could cheat here and uh, say the thing that I knew was going to happen, but... Uh, oh, you get spoiled no, off No, I think... Yeah. Um, the email thing. Uh, I'm going to say, give me... Give me Assassin's Creed. Oh, okay. That's a bold choice. <laughs> bold choice yeah, specifically Mesoamerica. I don't... <laughs> yep, I don't love my I don't love my uh, guesses, so I gotta I gotta swing for the fences if I'm gonna win, and this is a competition. Uh, the optimist in me wants to put Dragon's Dogma too, but now that Capcom <laughs> announced their own show, I don't I don't think that's gonna be there. It's like it's like the sports betting thing when you get a free uh, like when you get free money. It's like, do you bet against it? Do you bet against what you really want to happen? I, Are you hedging your happiness bets, or do you want to be like if drag if Dragon's Dogma two happens? I'm going to be the fucking happiest man in the world. I think I'll be happy enough that I won't feel bad that I didn't get bonus <laughs> points for it. Uh, so I'm going to put mine on the Chivalry 2 DLC just because this is the first show it was announced last sure. year. It, there's a DLC coming yeah. out in like four days. So Boring. All right. You know what? Okay. All right. <laughs> a little too boring? <laughs> Fuck it. Let's go. Dragon's Dogma 2. You don't need to convince me. There we go. Okay. Are you constantly muting yourself? I think yourself? so. I think here? X might be my push to mute in Discord, <laughs> but that's all right. All right, let's say we get started. We got to we got to right. settle in for okay, this. Okay, now one. that we did that brisk yeah, now that we did that brisk 22 minute intro, time for this uh, slow it down. No, we're carrying that energy for as long as we can into this 2 hour conference. <laughs> I was expecting this to be like 45 minutes, so uh Let's go. All we right. got our shots. Ooh. And here yeah, we bring that down. Go. Okay, Randy, can I hear you? I don't know. Can you? Okay, yeah. I am going to ask, though, if you might be able to turn on closed captioning, because I'm losing some of this audio. Thank you. Oh, God, that's right. They're streaming this to IMAX theaters this year. And yes, have a people are paying money to go to too. IMAX theaters now, to watch Jeff Keighley's summer game a true cross industry showcase. But, you know what? I might have. Xbox, PC, like if that was the thing that was easy to do here. If it was the Game Awards, maybe. Because you. you're at least going to get a good like orchestra and a show. All here to come together as one hey man, we're about to get a, an awesome show true. featuring Skate 4 and Dragon's Dogma. That's true. Dude, that would be a great conference. <laughs> one after another. Sony, eat your heart out. introduced to exciting new worlds new teams and so one funny thing about this is jeff Keeley always wears a suit but is has like the most egregious like basketball if shoes on right, every time but it seems like he has like actual like shoes on tonight and even that's fashionable though is it? it seems like like, like dress pants, a certain sect, fancy I think. suit and just jordan yeah, stuff 
So like a smart casual, started. yeah. Oh, no. That, I mean, I'm not saying my personal opinion, ago, but I f that is an accepted outfit. Fighter, fuck Street Fighter 6. Oh, get it out of here. Legendary Street Fighter 6. Woo! Yeah, keep up that energy, Zach. Oh, shit. Ryu's going to be in this one? <laughs> they got Chun Lee back? <laughs> I thought they were still in contract this piece with her. Except Ryu grew a goatee at some point here. Dude, his jaw is chiseled. Oh, we're going to get ads. Oh no! Incognito mode. Does not have ad blocker oh, installed. Randy. For a second there, I was like, "Wait, Valorant? Are we going to Valorant footage?" <laughs> you will know what hits you. Let me have some fun. I'm gonna be honest. Is that Ken? Where's Ken? Does the does the Street Fighter art style do anything for you? Actually, kind of, I was just thinking about that a little okay. bit. I kind of like. Now, like, I haven't seen Street Fighter in a while. I think the last one I really saw was like four. I actually kind of like how they're like adding details to these characters. Like, they look like they're kind of making it look more like real people in a way. Kind of what I don't like. I, yeah, it's. It, 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 I'll grant you, it's hitting the uncanny valley. I think, but it's in a way that's like kind of cool. I think. I like what they're doing with the uh, graffiti art in this one, but I don't. Yeah. The models. I don't know. They're, yeah, Uncanny Valley is a good word for it. They're almost too good looking. Like, don't get. Like, I love this art style. Like, this is working for ah, me. I don't. I would never play this game. Maybe I'm just a weeb, but I, well, I would prefer, that. like, He's combing gears. his hair. Yeah, cool. Good for him, I guess. <laughs> is this one just called Street Fighter? Are they no, it's Street Fighter 6 in the background. Do you remember the controversy when they first revealed the logo for it and then some dude found it in the Adobe stock images? For like twenty oh, bucks. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. they had to redo the I whole logo. That. <laughs> Next, it's time for <laughs> is that new? Yeah, that was. Well, they showed it at Sony's, at but. Summer Game Fest. Oh shit! World Jack premiere, Dragon's Dogma Two. Out. Dude, you're gonna hear the wor words "world premiere" so many times in this conference. <laughs> <laughs> That's sort of their whole thing. Who's was this? Twentieth uh, Century. The Simpsons. Is this the Callisto people? This, this uh, looks a lot like the Callisto people. I don't know. Alvarez of the CM Leth Recon Squad. Our mission was to enter the Tantalus base, locate the commsat relay, and bring it back online. Oh, that sure is some sci-fi military is this jargon. Infinite Warfare 2? Problem. Is this it? Wait. <laughs> I, okay, it's completely slipped by me that you said Infinite Warfare, <laughs> not Modern Warfare. <laughs> no, I don't think this is Modern Warfare. Is, is that Reyes? Tantalus space is bullshit. <laughs> is this alien? In a new Call of Duty game starring Griff. I mean, this trailer looks like this is good CG. Oh, oh there yeah. There must be some budget behind this one. They're showing it first. It's a heartbeat sensor. It's Call of Duty. I'm just getting alien vibes. New kind of evil. And it found us first. That doesn't seem super alien to me. That is not alien, no. Is this an Expanse game? Nope, nope, that's alien. That is, uh, <laughs> that says alien to me. <laughs> I don't know. That's some Geiger-ass Xenomorph right there. People liked that last one, didn't they? No, I think the last one was bad. The one before it was good. I think Alien Isolation people liked. That's what I'm thinking I don't think of. Alien Colonial Marines was well received. Oh, is that a... Jesus, ask me anything about the Alien games, dude. But yeah, Alien Isolation was really good. This seems more action-y. At least from the trailer. I know what I saw in there. It was an alien. But I know when I close my eyes. I still see it. John Carpenter's The Thing, the video game. That I'd be... It's just a Mogus. <laughs> and someone that game already exists it does a lot of variants of it that's more okay with aliens <laughs> right ooh aliens isolation <laughs> dark no. descent amnesia isolation oh not what I was expecting from the trailer that's a twin stick like a uh 
State of, not State of Decay. What was it called? That was Aliens Dark Descent, and it's coming in 2023. What's the Alien game that came free on Steam? Next. That was the twin stick shooter. Oh, oh I, yeah, I do not know. From the creative okay, here's the Callisto. The okay, I think I think we're getting some Callisto today, protocol. Of, man, imagine being the aliens people and your trailer just get, comes before this game. That was a pretty good trailer. It was, but I feel like you're, you're, they're like hanging you in the shadow of... I don't know, does Callisto like protocol seem like that big oh. of a... Dude, we're getting some fucking gore, though. See, this one I don't know I to be excited about or not yet, because, like, I don't know who is Striking Distance Studios. They've never made anything. Like, I don't... I don't know if they're good or not. Crafton. I think this is the same exact trailer that they showed. That's only he did say a little more gore. This might be the uncut Well, they confirmed gameplay for trailer. it, so I'm assuming we'll see this followed by gameplay. Dead. Just like you would have been if I hadn't fished you out of that room. So this is supposed to come out next March, which is like with Resident Evil 4 remake and some other uh, survival horror games. Like horror fans are going to be eating good next spring. Yeah, this, although this up to up against Resident Evil 4, I feel like it's going to be a weird yeah, dichotomy. It will be different tones for sure. I mean, even just in the way they play, like I imagine they're going to give Resident Evil 4 like the modern the modernization treatment, right? Um, How did two remake play? So I feel like. I, I never played it personally, but from watching like Jer play it, it's still it seemed like it's still like tank control, yeah, the, right? I don't. Oof, I maybe, but I think that you still, but I think you you get like the analog stick controls at least, oh, okay. or not analog, like the triggers. Yeah. Like I don't think it's like uh, Resident Evil Four where you aim and move with the same stick, which I can't imagine will be the case. No, no. I just love that last part. So the thing that shocked me about this trailer, we're not shocked, that's maybe a strong word, but surprised me was just how There's much the melee combat they showcase in this game. Uh, which yeah. is not something, you know, Dead Space had, but there's a lot of melee. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Like, kind of like Last of Us, where like your melee was like a guaranteed kill on an infected. I wonder if that's what they're going for, or... I mean, this looks good. I mean, this looks Dead Space. Yeah. There's the gore. Thanks, Jeff. Oh. <laughs> well, there's your problem. Welcome. Man, I'm a s your new home. I'm a simple guy. <laughs> Maybe I I don't know what this says about me. <laughs> but like, I see a guy's face get ripped off. I'm a happy person. I'm like, that looked really oh, good. Oh hell yeah. This is an ad. Iron Marines invasion. Hell it's an yeah. Ad. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Thanks for monetizing it, Jeff. Should have took that for Doritos sponsorship Randy, I'm, so we didn't have to I am, do it. I, I am just going to float this out there. It's been nine minutes, and that's happened that's right. twice. We yeah. We to see and, joining me now, and we're back. This game looks absolutely incredible. And I got to say, the fact that you have built this team, this studio, new IP, shipping this December, all in COVID. Who is this guy? Assuming someone from Striking yeah, Distance thanks, Studios. Uh, thanks for having us. I really do appreciate it, Jeff. Um, I mean, I mean, like, for a second, just give me a second. Uh, you know, I want to thank. Do you, people know of this guy uh, from something previously? Industry, uh, no idea. Years, man. I, I think no, they they know. often just get like just developers, and, uh, developers or people from the studio. Um, like, yeah. Um, the funny thing about this game, Zach, I don't know if you caught this news story and, uh, last week. Um, I, I just wanted to but they announced really that it know, was no longer taking place in the PUBG universe. Yeah, I, I, know, but I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And yeah, it's Wait, so yeah, the, the, the developers the of this game, game put out an announcement like last trailer, week. <laughs> hey, so Kalisto Protocol no longer taking place in the PUBG universe. And we're like, why would we ever think it was taking place in the PUBG universe? Maybe there's deeper lore there than I know. Now, that'd be a great announcement if it wasn't like like if they never even in the first place said that station like i'm just making a game uh, and now i'm going to say that uh movies, some <laughs> some, uh, yeah mine and randy's new game it's no longer in the uh, jack and daxter <laughs> universe <laughs> it's a uh, like yes. a gravity gun but it picks up the enemies and it shoves them into oh, the shit. fans it rips them apart it's great and uh and then check out the uh, <laughs> this guy looks like he's in the, the mob nice ending we have where we uh you know we usually will uh, kill you know yeah Jacob he's doing the uh, dress clothes with, and with the uh, shoes, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just for a second, I, I, I want to thank the team, man. Like you said, through COVID, through everything else, the dedication, the hard work. Uh, you guys are amazing. Thank you very much. Uh, well, Glenn, I got to say, again, you know, 
What you guys are shipping this year? We're going to get Joseph Fares to like swear on stage, and Jeff has to try and shepherd him off again. Bring something out like this this year. Yeah, we're going to get a guy who's going to show up blasted. Pretty much. Here it is, the first gameplay. Konami all over again. Did we not just see the first gameplay, Jeff? Okay. Word five. I have a hard time saying that word. Ward. Ward five. Ward. Yeah. Ward. Captured on next gen hardware. Does that like mean the PS like the current gen, or does that mean like next next gen hardware? It means like a thirty eighty that someone is like tuned down to the resolution okay. of a PS five. Okay. Is my guess. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm a jaded ass, but I mean, like, are you getting excited watching this? Excited? No, but I mean, it does look good. Like, if this is a day one Game Pass game, like, I'd play it. I'd be like, oh, hey, look, they got Chaos Stuff Protocol. Like, it doesn't look bad. Yeah. I like that they're doing the HUD UI thing where they're keeping it minimal, like his green bar on the back of his neck. That's probably the hell. It's a little bit more on the nose. But... You know... You know, if there's one thing that I've been saying forever, and you've been saying it too, for people to take from Dead Space, it's been that, so it's like, it's about damn time. Hey, just get... Like, a HP number in the bottom left corner is not scary. Like, it doesn't build tension. <laughs> That's just gratuitous. I don't know, maybe he'd get back up. Callisto credits. Jesus, Jeff, you didn't have to kick him that much. Talk about beating dead horse. Protagonist hasn't said anything yet. Hmm. So one of the interesting things about we'll the Dead Space remake is that they're giving Isaac a voice, which he did not have in the original game. Uh, in this game, not yet. We haven't heard anything. Not even like a grunt, really. Or, well, I mean, we heard a grunt. Are we getting... Are we, is it too late to add a prediction? Troy Baker voices this guy. Troy Baker? You don't think it's like an Oscar Isaac? Or Pedro Pascal. Oh, they don't have Oscar. They don't have Oscar Isaac, Pedro Pascal money. I think it's more expensive than Troy Baker is at this point. I don't know. Those are like actual actors. Oh, there's the gravity gun. I like the thing in like front the of the gun, just... like the little blue thing that flashes red when he shoots. That yeah. Contextual death animations. Whew. That was pretty brutal. I mean, honestly, that is what that is kind of what I signed up for with Dead Space is the is the fucking brutal right, death on. animations. This October, when the Call centrifuge just claps you. Yeah. Jeff really sucked at that, though. Mm -hmm. day <laughs> it was his little brother Today, playing. To show you the world premiere of its <laughs> gameplay with a level playthrough. To tell us more. Oh, boy. Modern Warfare 2. To check in with Zach, Johanna did you Ferris play the campaign of uh, Modern Duty. Warfare 2018 or whatever year it came out? No, I, I've never played any of that game. Uh, it was actually pretty good. It was not bad. Hi, everyone. In 2019, Modern Warfare changed everything. She's the game master of Call of Duty. Did it? We usher in a new era <laughs> of Call of Duty with the launch of I'd Modern I'd like to Warfare roll for two. ACOG. We are back. We are bigger. God. <laughs> Someone has to have that. Team. Roll on a table Price. of 1 to 100 for your kill streak. Alejandro. And of course, Christ. Ghost. We needed a stage big enough. What's this like X Factor stage setup? Way, inspired by the world <laughs> we're about to enter. Oil rigs, cargo ships, and staggering odds are just the beginning. Here. You no, know, I really am glad that, you know, Activision can't afford to equal pay their female employees, but they sure can't afford this giant ship art in the middle of wherever they are. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Rogan's gonna come with like two buses and you're gonna have to jump between them. <laughs> He's like, where we're dropping? And they're like, no, Joe, the other game. <laughs> so, uh, Modern Warfare 2018 took it a lot more grounded than the other Modern Warfares did. Like, there was multiple levels where you're just like clearing a house or a tunnel as opposed to like, we have to nuke the low orbit to knock down the Russian invasion. <laughs> So I'm expecting I mean, a little bit more grounded stuff. We did just play Infinite Warfare. Well, that was... And, like, yeah. after that, I mean, what do you do, There's right? no it's going like, anywhere from Infinite Warfare. We blew up planets. Was there, was there a 2017 yeah. game before 2018's Modern Warfare? Uh, ghosts. 
No, that was before. Ghosts, that was like 13 Black Ops or something. Three, Black Ops 4. Maybe one of them, yeah. Uh, Man, this sure does look like Call of Duty. I mean, at least it's consistent. I enjoy Call of Duty campaigns. I don't know if I'm going to buy it oh, sure. for it, but... Well, no, you're going to buy it for the Battle Royale, for Warzone. Uh, Warzone 2. Connectivity. Warzone 2. Oh, really? Are they actually just doing so it? So they announced Warzone 2. Uh, this isn't a spoiler from this conference. They announced it earlier in the day. Uh, and they're saying that all Call of Duty games going forward will try to be on a unified engine to an indeterminate date. So that they can seamlessly merge them into Warzone 2 as they go. Wait, but that's what they were doing. I feel like that's not news. I mean, but I they guess were, the like, news jury is that they're going to be on the I don't think it was clean. Yeah. Like, Warzone has real... It's not performant at all. Is uh, this the is this the first time we're getting a, um, a Battle Royale sequel? Yeah, I think so. The multi yeah, dude. The mul the multiplayer sequel has not been a thing for like a good many it's years. Been a while. I mean, obviously that's not true, but I feel like for the big boys. Yeah, it's pretty much live service. Just run it till it dies. But very rarely do you see the just. This is Fortnite two. Imagine if they put out a Fortnite. Two. Yeah, it's like. I f like I feel like part of the reason why everything feels so samey now is because we've all been playing the same multiplayer that's, games that's for like very six seven that's years. Very true. I feel like Modern Warfare 2, the OG Modern Warfare 2, had a better breach and clear system than. I mean, we'd go down in slow mo and you'd plant the C4. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was fun. It was a very similar level. Oh. Oil rig, also. Uh, I mean, how many different places can you go in a Modern Warfare? That's true. That's why I like space a lot more. Yeah. You know, it, it, it does kind of make me think, though. If you're if if you're a fan of just the, like the like the meat and potatoes like nuts and bolts just like Call of Duty multiplayer, I guess it hasn't been the case. They've been making a new one. Oh yeah, every year or so. Yeah. I played the. Uh, like I didn't play did... Vanguard. Most people did not like Vanguard, but I played yeah. uh, the Modern Warfare ones or just 2018 Modern Warfare. It's so confusing. They couldn't have picked a better name like Contemporary Combat or something. <laughs> but like, uh, it was good. Black Ops Cold War was not yeah. as good, in my opinion, and Vanguard just kind of sucked, but, like, you yeah. know what you're getting with Call of Duty, man. People still eat these games up, so. Like, I don't hate, like, it's it's astounding to me. I mean, I guess it's not, right? Things change, but, like, the way that, like, Team Deathmatch, like, when, what was the last game that you saw that, like, yeah, Team Deathmatch is our marquee multiplayer I, mode. Like, almost none I of them. I hate any multiplayer game mode which does not have an objective in it. Sure, but I'm just thinking, but, like, that style, like, Halo, right? Like, the like the low Split team, like, the low gate, player count. Halo, yeah. But even Halo yeah. has other modes, right? Like, I mean, so does Call of Duty. Right. Well, sure, but, sure. Yeah. I'm not hung up on the Team Deathmatch thing, but just, like, that style of, like, low mul like low is count Call multiplayer. Is Call of Duty a contemporary arena shooter by today's standards? Oh, God. No. No, not even by today's standards. <laughs> no, it's no Quake, right? Like, I mean, it's not. It really isn't. But what other new games in that style are being made? Not enough of them, I'll tell yeah. you what. Oh, is that the whole first level? I mean, it's cool. Like, unless something out of left field comes on this boat ride. I mean, it's kind of the thing where just, like, Call of Duty isn't going to surprise me anymore, and I'm okay with that. Like, there's a place for, sure. like, there are 13-year-old kids out there right now that are probably hyped as hell over the new Call of Duty, and that's fine. Like, I, I had my time. It, They'll have their time. Are they? Yeah. Is it? Is this still, yeah, like, an institution in the it way? It is. Not in our circles, but it, it's still I super guess, popular. But like, damn. Even my older brother and his friends all play Call of Duty still. Like, it, yeah, it's, it's okay. a thing. I mean, I'm not trying to sound dismissive. Like, Call of Duty's great. It's just... Oh, this level seems I feel fun. Like it, with the little moving slide. I just things. feel like... It, that's yeah. a little bit of variety. That's the thing. I'm, like, I don't want to be too negative. Because this, like, every... Like, it, it, this is cool. It's... But, like, wouldn't it be cooler this if this was a big show? 
you know? Now, okay. <laughs> Raiden's going to be... You're fighting towards like, Raiden right now? Dude, if, <laughs> if you told me that, that there was going to be a Metal Gear, like, reimagining in first-person shooter, then, like, sign me up. Oh, he whiffed that, dude. He didn't like, hit him. <laughs> like, should we record the gameplay demo? Fuck no, man. We've done this, like, six times. I mean, you missed it earlier when he was, like, standing on top of a crate shooting people with a oh, shotgun no, from, like, it. 20 meters away. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. Like, shotguns do work like that. Like, video games tend oh, to yeah. exaggerate their spread, but... I mean, if they didn't, then everyone would just be carrying a shotgun all the time. It would be like a Battlefield 3's slug sniper rifle shotgun, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, I fucking... Yeah, dude, that, you know what I'm talking oh, about. That, that, was, that was my shit in Bad Company. Bad Company was even worse than 3, I think, in that regard. Was like, I was shooting people three, across the map. It was pretty bad in 3, too. But... See, the thing about... This guy needs to work on his crosshair yeah, placement. I was going to say, What's the up? thing about Call of Duty that just kind of bores me is just, like... I don't know if I've been spoiled by faster-paced shooters, but, like, the lack of movement going on here... Like, no sliding, no, that like, bother peeking me. corners, no, like, jumping... I don't know. It just seems so slow. I'm okay with that. Like, there's room in my life for a slower-paced thing when it comes to FPSs. Play um, Overwatch. Yeah. <laughs> That was a transition. Oh shit! Was that the first level? I, I guess that was the first level that they didn't want to show us the story twist for. Do you think Makarov shows you fucking up? Fucking lied to me, Keely. Because this is a prequel to do, Modern Warfare. Yeah, do you do? Does it have continuity That's with the old ones? That's a good question. Yeah, I don't know. It's a prequel. Now, up from Long Modern Warfare 2018 takes see, place before, it's great. and it teases uh, you at the end. Does the character show up? From, uh, uh, it teases you at the so end by you. Yeah, Price or, or like yeah, Captain Price shows up. Looks well, that just looks like Ghost uh, right there. Well, so. Ghost is in there. So the stinger uh, to 2018 is like, I gotta get a team together, and then you pull up their case files, and Ghost is in there. Like, well, that's what they're doing. Man, so it goes Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare. Warfare 2, you know, Modern Warfare 3. That's the chronology. Today, but, uh, members from this is my hot take. I don't think uh, that, that Captain Price and Ghost and Soap are, uh, Simon necessarily Ghost deserve the uh, uh, course, uh, so canonization, I think, that they have received um, in the in, in this franchise. Decided, uh, that we were going uh, to, uh, Ghost looks cool. Um, right? But it's uh, like... Yeah, oh it's man, grave. it's fucking Ghost is here, yeah, dude. Forces, I'm not. Uh, yeah, a Ghost, uh, man. Uh, like what? Man, Star Wars has been doing it for really years. Excited about. He's a guy who's super capable. Yeah, right. Guy, uh, who's just as important as Task Force One Four One. I remember um, when I was watching, um, you know, this. I, I got a the Empire to, Strikes to Back. You know, this was a tremendous and it was like collaboration Boba Fett's here, and like five minutes later he was gone, and I was like, everybody Wait, that is what people have been obsessing over for the last like thirty years. And you know, you saw the. Yeah, well, I mean, Boba Fett was never a character the, uh, and like to be fair Ugh. neither the is awesome ghost the dude says like three lines water tech which is actually um, pushing the boat in different directions he shoots a dude who's running away in the leg in one scene that's kind of cool in the favela the level seeing in certain but like you could be behind he's cover, just and some guy with a cool ball claw you could give that yeah. to anybody also leaves the enemy exposed creating this emergent gameplay do you think um, they'll so bring back makarov or the terrorist from one or whatever we get to show it off today we can we can only have the same character i mean it's a star wars problem yeah fucking sure man like why not like I, <laughs> I just think I don't like prequels because like when you're writing a story you don't know where the sto the start's going to be and you don't know where the end's going to be when you write a sequel you know where the start is but you don't know where the end is when you're writing a prequel you know where the start is and where the end is so what's the point like where's the that never mattered like that never bothered me too much because it's like incredible rendering incredible because it's like the, the only the only thing i think that that causes is that you have to lower the stakes a little bit and i'm perfectly okay with a lower stakes thing like not every single thing has to be like okay here's the the, the world changing and i'm not and i'm not saying that's what you're you know that's what you're claiming but i experience of warzone for current there are other stakes um, besides like which characters well, so are going to live gonna right then the no no that's a real thing if they made a prequel um, where that like that was the story the then like yeah right for task force one for one 
Um, like Metal Gear Solid 3 is amazing. As well I love that game. The mm -hmm. Oh shit, Steam, Warzone coming you know to mobile? I mean? so just a big moment and there's going to be a lot uh, there's already a Call of Duty mobile, right? Doesn't it make like a bajillion well, dollars? Before we we leave, we got to ask yeah. you about Warzone 2. I know we just I mean, this, uh, it, it, this I guess this, this game is coming to Warzone. A bit of a tease maybe in the trailer yesterday. So. Yeah, when we're seeing that from the community, community, we love when the fans can pick up some things. Um some chatter about maybe And I'm trying to stay on topic here, but like this is just No, no, this is 25 minutes of don't worry about it, it. <laughs> 25 minutes of call of duty so is like all the more reason ugh. this game oh yeah this moment, no you're in the you're in the right uh, title for all of us i'm looking at that guy's ahead. gauge earring right now like we said we're having a bold vision around the entire future for which the one franchise, so we're oh yeah Jack, man. we're really excited all right well we're looking forward yeah, to that's it. fine it looks so cool it looks cool first look at the gameplay call of duty modern warfare 2 thanks johanna and jeff um, all right, well, we've got I mean, lots I don't know, better than that lady's like Luigi get up. I don't know how I feel if that's the PC second announcement <laughs> at the show. Uh, with a sequel uh, over 30 years after its first classic release. Classic PC gaming. I love this game when I was is that Monkey up, Island? So sequel over 30? How old is Monkey yeah, Island? 30 uh, years. Oh, shit, what game that's hasn't long, been made for 30 dude. years? Is that Micro po Oh, Microids. Oh, I was hoping it was Micro Pros. The Siberia people? Micro Pros makes a lot of stuff. Or Microids is the Siberia people, right? I actually think it is. I don't. This isn't Siberia the unless three gets really wild. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck game is this? I don't know. Something sci-fi with aliens. Tron. Mex. I have no idea what this is. Yeah, I feel like I'm not gonna know this. Or I'm going to be real stupid in about 10 seconds. Are we going to get a name? Flashback 2? Flashback 2? Flashback? I don't... I have no idea. Who thought, you know what people need right now? More flashback. <laughs> All right, let's turn I mean, back. Uh, it looked cool. Back in 2017, yeah, we didn't show enough Witch for me to say that. Game Awards. Okay, Witchfire, though. Have you followed the Witchfire dev I just, blogs? No. These developers have been great. They've been putting out, like, every month. Like, here's a weird programming error issue we had developing Witchfire. Here's a 200-page blog post about how we fixed this issue. Like, it's super in-depth. They've been super transparent with stuff. Is this the same thing? This is Witchfire, yeah. This looks like a fun shooter. Who's the dev for this? Hmm? Who? What? What? Is this dev of any renown? Not really. Uh, I know they're Polish. Because I'm getting extreme Polish. Uh, oh, shit. Because I'm, I'm getting like arcane vibes from this footage. Ooh. Maybe. But yeah, everything they've shown about this game like, looks great. Like it's not, right? Like, but like this looks very dishonored to me. Just in the style and the abilities. I mean, I doubt it's arcane. But I, I know what oh, you no, mean. no, it's not. Yeah. What do we even call these types? Doom likes? Like modern Doom? Like what, what do you call it? <laughs> Fucking Doom just a, likes. Just an man. FPS? I mean, it's just a, it's a, it's a yeah. yeah, it's an FPS game. No, they're all like Doom. Oh, that guy looks cool. <laughs> he had like a cool sword. I like this setting. I don't know. This aesthetic does I mean, it for me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm with you, man. This looks neat. All you need is some tattered banners blowing in the wind in the background, and I'm sold. Like <laughs> that's what does it. Oh, that flying skull was. Up. Uh, this is cool. Oh, yeah. I like this. I've not seen this before. This is the most they've shown by far. This one's been in development for a while. Okay. Like the music? I'm I'm curious to know what the uh, what the premise is. Early access soon. Wish list now. The astronauts. Wish wish list now is such like a shitty. Like, tra okay, like trailer. Okay, comes an ambitious new game. I get it. It funds their metrics, right? In like, yeah, I guess, but like, names. who's like, oh yeah, I got a wish list. This shit. As someone who wish lists every game I look at and think, oh, that's kind of neat. <laughs> I do. I am a frequent wish lister. <laughs> Officer Taylor Medlog. All in leaf. Officer Taylor Medlog. Black Shark Card Games. That looks. That sounds familiar. Unreal. What's no? That looks. <laughs> Mad Mass Max? Effect 1, again? <laughs> that lander looks a lot like the one from... Solace. Everything okay in there? The 
greenhouse. It's just like the Martian. Dude, how many dead space legs can we get? I'm I'm loving it though, man. It's just it's just a weird phenomenon. I feel like over the years it's been like people seemingly independently all come yes. to the conclusion at the same time that it's like time to uh like time to do like it, is 2023 just like the year of the space uh survival horror? Maybe. We had year of the battle royale. We had year of the zo or we had like 5 years of the zombies. Something is going uh, on. Here. Like it happened back in the day with the superhero. Fort Solis. Sure. Roger Clark, Julia Brown, Troy Baker. Oh, they, got, they have the Troy Baker money. Those, those are some. some yeah, those are some names. And, look who it is. and do you think these guys could have fucking got Pedro Roger Pascal? Person. I think this guy maybe could have got guys, longer pants. Uh, but. So <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, that's the style. I don't mean to blame no. these guys. Like, it's such a low hanging fruit. I gotta ask you guys. Uh, no, it's actually hanging pretty high. <laughs> well, uh, I get to play a character named nice. Wyatt Taylor, who's a medical officer who's stationed at this uh, base, Fort Solace. And uh, it's the epicenter of this mystery that we'll discover and uncover as we go through the game. And of course, my character will be. I like Troy Baker better with his long hair. With Roger's character. I mean, Battle he's still a handsome guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's true. Oh, man. We can't wait to show you what we've been working on. And by the way, Jeff, this looks awesome, man. Yeah, it's so man. good. Oh, do you know who Roger Clark is? Because I don't. Nope. So I'm assuming he's more of the studio game. guy. I mean, it's feel like this is your first game since. His, His name was top billed build with Troy Baker oh. in that trailer. By the name of Jack Leary. He's a maintenance engineer on a remote. Oh, he might Martian be. Wait, wait, what was that about Deadpool? <laughs> His job is to make sure that none of the equipment breaks down while it's on their graveyard shift. The graveyard shift meaning Mars and Earth are really far apart from each other and their orbit. I mean, he has a good voice. So help. It's almost not like you should like play away. a character or something. Uh, I gotta ask. I, I think a lot of people will see this thing and they'll probably wonder. You know, it's a new team, right? Uh, new, you know, I'm pulling up the IMDb studio, of Roger Clark York right now. This, but with huge production values, I'm curious. Like, how did you guys get attached to this? Tell us a bit about the background. Oh, he's a Red Redemption Two guy. He's Arthur. to me was the most. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. For games, it was the first. I mean, obviously, also we had this an episode of Law and Order SVU. Forced the way that we looked at. It. Everything is a society, but also the way this industry functions. Dude, There's everybody is an actor. If you haven't been on yeah, SBU, you're not a real actor. actor. <laughs> we're leveling the playing field between like the AAA studios and the indie okay. studios of the AAA studios. And so he does a good job in Red Dead. Else we got reached out. Uh, James is anyone going to ask these guys how they plan to compete like with you, both uh, <laughs> Callisto <laughs> Project and, and Dead Space? Uh, we don't know the date. The was we don't know when it's coming out. In the very oh. beginning, he said, is that their plan? They're going to compete by releasing six months after the fact and hope that both of those games suck? Interesting. Is that logo has some like is that Chinese characters underneath it? I think that's Chinese. Oh, don't ask me. I'll look Korean. It didn't look Chinese. Absolutely new studio. I think that's Chinese energy, and of course. I get to work with it's one a ten cent game and me. I get the privilege. I mean, I think they're just assuming that China will be a spacefaring power I, I in the future. Work, and I love the challenges and all the new innovations that this medium provides to performers. We can't wait to show you what we've been working on. Yeah. I think it's going to. Yeah, I guess I've seen some of the behind the scenes. And the Didn't you show us a little bit right there, Roger? Five. I mean, this is it looks absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> Can you give us a hint Unreal about the, the gameplay? Like, what are we going to do? It looks worse yeah. than the, the Callisto Protocol. So was that in? Let the game I just. Itself. We'll be showing you more. Uh, I don't know. On, but uh, I don't know. I don't know what they said. You're going to be exploring, but discovering. Like we. I love when they ask like the voice actor, like this style of interview where they're asking the voice actors about like multiple locations, multiple ways. Like the development of the game is like not that they're doing that they asked about gameplay uh, but just then the the narrative is a huge well, what are they allowed to say they, they if they were allowed to say uh, it they would have just put it in the trailer resources like on the, the performance for sure oh, no, well it's no it's just like story. they obviously have to like give these guys um, like feed these guys moments. answers yes. like they know um, jack shit there about a like in this game. the inner workings yeah, of the game. I just don't think they're allowed. I mean, to maybe answer. they do. Troy Baker, and right? That's what that's where I'm. Yeah. Like, aspect, we brought in an don't ask about the story. What, what are they supposed uh, to do? Spill it? Like, who walked us through and really approached us in a completely different way than anything I've ever done before? And he says, "I want to know the story of this fight." And so Roger and I. Yeah, I bet this has been. I bet that's different. This is why I feel like we see such a rise in prominence of like the Sony style or the Nintendo Direct style, where it's just clip, recovery program, it was transition clip, transition clip, transition clip, rather than these. Like not to you know discount Troy Baker or Roger Clark, but like I don't. I never minded it because like I think what it ends up doing is like. Oh, you can. 
you will. I think that I think that studios voice. know these interviews aren't really they capturing anyone's advanced, attention, right? But it's just like the longer you spend out. not yeah, moving to the next thing, it's the longer that you have this game in your brain. And the logo's on screen for longer. We can't wait to see more. Troy, Rob, I, thanks for I legitimately think that's the only reason yeah, at this point. Because like, right, there guys. are some right. developer well, interviews, which could be good. Theme, it's time for but the world yeah. premiere, if you're asking a about a very specific question. Game, which will feature a musical score by industry legend Mick Gordon. Green Day. Oh, fuck, getting a new Doom? We are so honored to debut. That would be at the Bethesda show. So Mick Gordon might not be doing Doom. Quick, what's the, mo what's the most heavy metal thing you can think of? The most heavy metal yeah. thing I could think of? Flaming Skulls. Okay. Hmm, doesn't look like I'm gonna get those up that here. That really is the year of space, huh? If they show one more Isaac Clarke looking <laughs> motherfucker, I'm gonna- I'm gonna scream. If I see one oh, it's more die hard. in the back of your head. I'm finally <laughs> getting the Die Hard game I've been asking for. <laughs> die Hard on the moon. This looks like some straight up and down yeah, horror. Yeah, this sounds very Mick Gordon-esque. Nope. Plasma cutter. <laughs> Dude, some this looks like straight up horror. Straight up and down Instantly horror pulls, pulls out, out plasma, plasma cutter. <laughs> <laughs> Between this and the, this doesn't say alien to me. <laughs> yeah, right. This I, I'm oh, I'm just great at this. Oh, is it a plasma cutter? Is it a video? Is this, is this the sequel to Outlast? Did they go to space? Oh, dude. Why does it have teeth? I don't like that it has teeth. That's a creepy looking robot, though. Okay, that trailer yeah. was cool. Routine. Is that the name of the game? I think so. Lunar Software. I don't know those guys. That's cool. I will never play it because I'm a huge bitch, great? but that like, it does look great, Jeff. PC. It was first announced a decade ago. Xbox and PC. And that could be a Game Pass game, Zach. Can't wait to see more. Now it's time to check <laughs> is in with a the... very special guest uh, who's been Xbox does it, but the rest of these shows don't actually divulge that yeah. information, yeah. usually. Foundation. Dwayne Johnson. What? Welcome to Summer Game Fest. Here we go. Okay, What's it going to what be? Got? I forget. What's up, everybody? I forget really? what I said. What's up, I said Rocket Rock, League. You have to be sweating with your shirt off in the gym Summer when you show up on stage. Is live streaming <laughs> right now around the world and everybody inside the epic IMAX theater. Man, imagine if you were witnessing this in all of its IMAX glory right now. <laughs> Each I got an IMAX, IMAX to watch. <laughs> I watched Dwayne Johnson on his fucking iPhone. Uh, powered by, of course, Zoa Energy. The wow, really? We're getting a Zoa Energy ad? Game. You guys know me uh, by a lot of nicknames. I called it. The Rock, Fuck. La Roca in Spanish, uh, Uncle Handsome, Sexiest Man Alive, uh, Big Drink Energy. Is The Rock I, Goodwill? Is it decreasing? I was going to say the exact same thing. Are you tired of The Rock? Because, <laughs> like, you know what you're getting uh, with The Rock. He just plays The Rock at this point, which is fine. Uh, yeah, he's still charming and nice and everything. Did you watch Jungle it's... Cruise? <laughs> I kind of wanted to. I didn't. I did so I guess either. take that for what you will. But He was really good in Moana. Good voice actor. But also, I got to say that, you know, I've had such a pleasure... Uh, working with um, Epic Games. Did Jeff Keighley have to buy this on Cameo? Dude, could you imagine? Show me the Cameo receipts, <laughs> Keighley. In the future, you will also know me as Black Adam. Black Adam as Oh, right. Oh, yeah, wasn't that show announced? Duh. Black Adam mythology. Yeah. Oh. Ruthless, he is unstoppable. Well, and for those who okay, maybe we could have guessed that one. I mean, is there a yeah, game coming? Makes sense. Um, maybe. Black I don't know. Has the powers of Superman. But the only difference isn't it just like well, anti Shazam? One of the biggest differences is like the reverse flash. Is, is it just like reverse Shazam? Adams, one of his superpowers <laughs> is magic. Ah, so dude, you're asking like the wrong guy. Like his logo about is DC. literally the Shazam logo, but the colors inverted. Oh. Like I'm pretty sure he's Black Adam around the world in theaters only, and you guys will finally see the hierarchy of power in the DC universe change. Uh, it has been an honor to become Black wow. Adam, and it was a it is a role. Is he going to beat up DNA Superman? I was born to play. I was born to play. The I don't know the DC universe that well. To show it to you guys on October 21st. Well, so it's sort of in shambles. Uh, well, the movie cinematic universe is sort of in shambles Superman at the moment. Did die at the end of the Justice League? Fun. Keep kicking ass. Uh, no, they brought him back. Oh, that's right. 
So he's still around. Who's going to be stronger than Superman? Except that Su I think uh, Henry Cavill. Well, we got a TV show clip. Not of Lord of the Rings. Nothing but hearty. Yeah. I was a slave until you I know, died. I'm going to preemptively <laughs> just mute this one. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to mute this one because I feel like there's some licensed music coming in. Yeah, dude, we're going to get our... Oh, we're gonna get our monetization taken away. It's just a bad look, you know. We're not gonna we're not gonna rake in anything it's just for this. A bad look. He just blew you up. You can that be plane. the destroyer of this world, or you could be its savior. Look really red in that photo. That shot. Oh no! That's up to oh, you. Who's the, who's the cloak wearing guy? He looks kind of neat. Look at that. Oh, that's him. Swing. Oh. Did you just catch a rocket? I appreciate you making all that onomatopoeias. <laughs> Black You know Adam. my fresco. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, let's just, uh, yeah, let's get away from that as fast as possible. Outriders DLC. Oh, shit. Outriders. Yeah, man. Okay. Did that game do well enough to warrant this? It was hot for like a month. Was it? I felt like it was hot for like three days. I mean, it might have been. So people realized that it wasn't worth playing. I didn't think like... it was good from the beta, but people kept talking about it. I mean, it, it's of a certain style of game that doesn't get made a ton. I think it was like the one game that got released early 2019 when the pandemic first started that didn't get immediately pushed back. So it was like the only one that was out. Uh, I think that did a lot of work because like the game's not Yeah, it's like... Great. It's like the most five I mean, out of ten. The, right? But it's like they don't make a ton of like gear style things. Yeah. It's like a gears destiny like. It's closer to destiny, yeah. probably. But this is uh this is Outriders. I remember the Outriders being less supernatural no you, you straight I, up had I, magic I, I mean this is going a little bit further just because i think it's end game stuff but like you had magic like, sure. you're fighting magic people i think i'm thinking of i wonder if you're still stuck June on that 30th. planet whatever the name of that planet was you're gonna be playing oh wait no it's it's not the game it's the reveal of the end game Fuck, specifically <laughs> Jesus. Oh, shit. We are getting a Nintendo. All right. Things that have already been shown. Oh, great. Splatoon 3. Hey! Monster Hunter. Hey! Cuphead. Okay. The delicious last course is a good... Is that a DLC? Yeah, it's been in the works for like five years. <laughs> I liked Xenoblade Chronicles I'm sure 2 I'd love for to play. four hours, yeah. and then I stopped. I'm sure I would if I ever booted it up. Yeah. It has funny Welsh accents, but those only carry it so far. Oh, Fall Burger Guys! King. Hell yeah. Dude, could you imagine if it's a crossover with Burger King? It doesn't seem like Death Stranding. That guy is carrying a lot of boxes. It doesn't really seem like Final Fantasy either. So, uh, <laughs> you might both be wrong on this one. Classic. Dino Pigeon, all right. This pigeon was my my pick. Are they the wolf? See, they know what the people want. That would be terrifying. There's some real body horror here that I'm not, <laughs> that I'm not a fan of. <laughs> I have no mouth and I must Pretty jump. Much. Woo! They clearly are capable of making woo noises. You know what? I feel like yeah, that's your if prize. we went if... back to this game, there's probably like a hundred new courses and a ton of cool stuff. Well, my re recollection is that there isn't actually as much new stuff as you might think. Because I only we only played this. I, I only played this like two, three months Fall since release, probably. Oh shit! Time for season one. Yeah. Starting June 21st across all platforms, including Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PC, and PlayStation. Halo right, did the same thing. I, like, I saw season one, but it was like several years after it came out, and I was like, wait, what? What have you been doing this whole time? When it launches in such a bad state, they just have to fix, 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 fix. <laughs> New studio, Frost Giant. 
Frost Giant. That doesn't ring any bells. Nope. Well, they said new studio, so I doubt it probably would. Are we at the point where we're world pre we're world premiering studios? I think they're gonna show us a game here. Kojima put out a whole twenty minute video for his new logo. Hmm. I'm getting CRPG Space. vibes. Space. <laughs> Space. <laughs> Portal three. <laughs> from from this, not, Valve wasn't doing it. We decided to make her. <laughs> Look at this Wheatley. <laughs> this looks like ReCore more than anything. This looks a lot like ReCore. Uh, uh, sure, I'll buy it. That looks like a knight. It does. So you're a space archaeologist? I may be onto something. She also looks a lot like Kerrigan from StarCraft. Hmm. I don't know if they intended that or not. We're getting a lot of sci-fi. We're getting a lot of space! Iron Man. Like, the music makes me think it's like a Blizzard trailer, but the visuals are a little less quality. Oh, the, a plus one heater shield. Oh, dude. It's going to help my AC out so much. <laughs> I finally connected or collected nine what's this, upgrade what's this shards. What's this looking motherfucker doing here? Okay, she'd be dead. Her, her spine is snapped. She just got <laughs> bodied into a stone with that sick shield. It's not helping her spine. It absorbed all the... It's magic. It absorbed all the impact. Oh, I guess. It traveled through her into the shield. Okay, what genre of game is this, Zach? Fuck, dude. I don't know. Mech? Mech game? Is this a twin stick? I know I've is said this before. Is it a third person shooter? I mean, this is a lot of mech for it to not be a mech game, I think. I'm going to go RTS. RT? Okay, No, dude. this seems like a Blizzard trailer <laughs> where they do these super in-depth from the ground floor, uh, but then you look up and it's like a little pixel 4x4 four four inch thing on the screen. I mean, shit, dude. For all I know, this might be ex-Blizzard people. I don't know. We gotta move. Now. Titanfall 3. Zoom out. You need additional pylons. Storm oh, game. Is that man. 40k? That is the that is the most generic ass title I've That's ever seen. It's literally a thing from 40k. So But that the demon could have been 40k, but the rest of them did not look. Is that over? Oh no, okay. There the you big have it, stage. Tim. Congratulations. Stormgate is real. We have a name and some details. Yeah, Tim's uh, real. So, oh man. First of all, congratulations on this announcement. We're so excited about the return of RTS, brand new uh, Ooh! franchise. Ooh! Fuck, called man. it. All right. So Stormgates are portals that open during a massive solar storm that unleash the infernal host on future Earth. Okay. Okay. Uh, and Check out that math. I, I mean, crunched you know, the numbers. <laughs> He's, it's right. <laughs> races, uh, you know, tell us about the sides in this RTS game. Yeah, we're unveiling our first two factions today, but there will be more. Uh, so the human resistance. Demon and not and demon. We saw an archaeologist from the human resistance in that intro cinematic. Uh, and then also the infernal hosts who are these demon-like monsters who come from another world. Hey, I mean, I'm all about a new I RTS though, because Blizzard's not making a new one anytime soon. Pedigree of the team, of, you know, where do you want to push the RTS? And it's either that or like Relic with decades, Age of Empires. But, you know, opportunity for and that's like your only choice. Um, I know you're going to show us, I think, some... some I guess Total War games. Go Im ...image-wise with the actual gameplay made in Unreal Engine. <laughs> Dude, you hey. what you want to do for the gameplay in this RTS is kind of dead. I, but the first yeah. Thing I, is I mean, hey, not with Stormgate. Not with Stormgate's bringing it back. It picked up that torch, dusted it off, um, relit it, and now it's running. really trying to push the genre and be innovative. First off, approachability. Um, for one thing, we're free to play, uh, but no. Ooh, way to win. No NFT, great. Like ah, I don't know about that one, Tim. He, to entry to get he did. In. He did say no also, NFTs. We're really trying to be a lot more social, um, so you'll be able to play the campaign. Free to play RTS, though. How are you making your money? Open-ended co-op, um, and we've even got three versus three for competitive multiplayer. But three of course, we've also still three? got one competitive. And as a little surprise, I think we've got some first kind of. Work in progress. Starcraft had team stuff. It did, I mean, it but it wasn't what they. Popular. It wasn't their marquee. Very much still, uh, being worked on, but some shots. Maybe three makes me think more MOBA. Assets that we're building in Unreal Engine Five. 
Wow. Well, I I love it. That 2023, looks like an RTS. Yes. It looks colorful, at least. So props ready. to them for and that. I'm just so thrilled that there is a, a brand new RTS franchise coming from you guys and your background and what you did, you know, at Blizzard and StarCraft. We're so excited about okay, this Okay, so they are ex StarCraft devs. Thank you so much okay. for giving us your announcement today on Summer Game Fest. Thank you so much for having us here. Really great. Awesome. All right, Frost Giants, Stormgate, keep an eye out for it. Now I will try that another game. Another indie game announcement Probably. that I'm excited to share with you. For the low High price water. of $0. Bez 2. High water. What is Good high morning, water? High water dwellers. High water pirate radio keeping you in the know with our flow. Alphaville authorities continue to deny false rumors that Alphaville elites are planning to evacuate to Mars. True or not, the one thing we can't deny is that the world ends. More fucking sci-fi, man. I'm thinking this might be about climate change, but I'm not sure. Okay, this is cool. This churches. Is this an adventure game? It's more like an exploration game. Are you getting your party? That dude's too heavy for that boat. Yeah, he's got to go. You can fit like three normal people. <laughs> Look at that priest and a Red Cross worker. A side-scrolling adv adventure game. Just a platformer. Yeah, is this like a limbo-like? Or like an inside like, or is this? Kind of looks like. I would I would have said like Metroidvania, but it doesn't seem like it's straight up 2D. I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be. I don't know if going to be combat. I mean, they showed a lot of people with guns, but it might just be just like just hide, right, or like what platform around them. What a breathtaking trailer! High Water is an adventure strategy game set in a world ravaged by extreme. adventure strategy? strategy game. Now, speaking of the world around us. The Maybe it's just like resource cool. management. From anyone's mind. And it's I'm into yeah, that. Load up your boat. Including replaced from Attachy case studios, on the boat. A Belarusian studio with devs from Belarus and Ukraine. The team had long hoped to reveal a new trailer here today, but were understandably unable to complete it in time. Guys, I just want to say we're thinking of you and all the developers impacted by the conflict and hope to be able to share your work at a future show. All right, our next game is an official selection of the Tribeca Games Festival. It's American oh, yeah, that Arcadia, happened. where you play Trevor, whose life is being televised. What is this? Trevor. Population constantly voting you up or down. When you become unpopular, That's fun. you need to start running for your life. Check. <laughs> what a premise. What was that <laughs> movie about? Uh, where, like, uh, the dude was secretly Picture a city on a TV show his whole life was science. fake? No, it was a movie. Go hand in hand with fun oh, well. And it's famous. I can't think of the name. My grandfather, Elijah Walton, had a dream. I don't like that character model. Tomorrow. That dream. I kind of I kind of do, man. Were they rationing out polygons when it came to that lady? Like <laughs> <laughs> were they so scarce that like we couldn't give her hey, face man, a little effort. bit more definition? Square mile metropolis. Everyone's got to make sacrifices. And every citizen enjoys a life of luxury and comfort. Except for Trevor. Broadcast live 24 hours a day, seven days a week on every digital platform. American Arcadia. Every digital platform. Subject on the run on camera 4025. Interrupt broadcast immediately. Watch it on your Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Like, I was just wearing, like, a sweater vest. To me. We can't that scream was awesome. Trevor Hills to escape under any circumstances. Trevor. Trevor, can you hear me? Be careful and don't make a sound. Don't worry. I'm going to get you out of there. So do you play as Trevor running, or do you play as the person manipulating now, events year, on the computer? Marvel and 2K announced Marvel's Midnight Ooh, Sun. probably both. Tactical RPG from that game seems rad. I like that. Studio behind XCOM and Civilizations. Heroes from the Avengers and X-Men cross over with supernatural Fuck. ones like Blade and Ghost Rider for a what? battle against Lilith, the mother of... What did I say for today, re Marvel? Today, some new folks set to join I don't know battle. what you said for Marvel. I don't, I don't remember, honestly. Because I... Because I remember thinking, I was like, okay, it's not going to be Avengers. They already did Guardians of the Galaxy. It has to be something like that. I cannot believe I didn't think X-Men. X-Men, yeah, X-Men would have been a good pick. 
So I think this was originally pitched as a card game, uh, but okay. it was made by Firaxis, who are the XCOM people. So it's a good looking Venom. Yeah. Are we gonna get like a, it's Morbin time. <laughs> it's a Morbius sweep. <laughs> uh oh, everyone like, look out, he's getting ready me. to Morb. <laughs> it w it would not surprise me if like either okay there's t I feel like there'd be two options either some corporate studio is too tone deaf to realize that that was a meme right and then they put like they make they're like shit we gotta put Morbius in this trailer man it's or there's like a game dev that's like yeah we gotta put that meme in there man people go nuts See, Midnight Sun might be might like be a thing oh you said new Spider-Man that's what you said. Like how Civil War is like an uh, event. Midnight Sun might be an event. I don't know. I don't know enough about comic books. I don't know the first yeah. thing about it. These people all have a matching color scheme, though. Does this count? Do I get a point for this? It's, if it's Spider-Man, that's a new Spider-Man game. It doesn't look like he's taking center stage here. Oh, well, uh, yep. Okay. <laughs> 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 Number three. We need a sm yeah. We need a super cut. We need a smash cut, yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so instant. Baxel, Baxel like puts their foot in their mouths yeah. for two straight minutes. So like we have no clue what the gameplay looks like, but these are cool characters. Oh, they got an evil a demon hawk. That's just Diablo Five. I mean, it's cool like, what is it that they're doing like? stuff with, like... I thought it was going to be more obvious. <laughs> like, it's cool that they're making games based on, like, comic stuff, so you get, like, that weird out there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't make it all MCU-related. That used to always work. Well, it did that one time. That was okay. That seemed in, like really sudden. That was Midnight Suns, and <laughs> now we're moving on to the wonderful world of Cuphead. The like last sure, course. I guess. Can you, can you believe Ooh, we're Cuphead. only a couple weeks That's away? That's a nice color of blue or green. Last course, DLC. Yeah. You see how they did that for Cuphead? Join me now. Is I feel like I'm in like a children's I nursery. I want to paint my wall that color. So first of all, Maya, it's really you can look at that color it's for really a long time. June thirtieth on all major Randy, platforms. We are the room I am in right now is I'm more so or less this color. It's a good so color, I man. I think all the fans can't believe that this and is here. And you and clowned on me for it. I I won't. I don't forget. Deck. I haven't uh, forgotten that. When did I clown on you? I, I can't. People are not going to be ready for how. <laughs> I think it was when I was building my oh, desk. Oh, because because every wall in your room is that color. You need like an accent wall. Yeah. As we would expect, but. The visual look Blood red. Taking, the next level, which I didn't think was possible. Yeah, we Edgy. absolutely did. I couldn't pinpoint one thing that we're proud of in this because we really honed our craft. We're not really proud of it. Because it sucks. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we botched <laughs> this one, you <laughs> guys. <laughs> Please don't buy it. No, it took a long time, and we just kind of ran out of energy. Like, it's not our best work. Honestly, just forget about it. We didn't even want to advertise it, but we're contractually obligated. Uh, delicious is it, like, Remember, too... Don't like buy too strong the delicious word, last yeah, course. Bosses, lots of secrets to discover. Um, don't let any rock go unturned. <laughs> media <laughs> cuphead in the mediocre last brought, course. I, I know you want you don't want people to necessarily have too much. I can't imagine any job I'd want less than being an animator. Yeah, it's, uh, brand new gameplay footage of one of our new bosses. Wait, I, mean, I don't know. Some people are really dedicated to that. So much work, um, dude. Favorite, yeah. Um, attacks and well, whatever. You just motion capture everything nowadays. That's how they make this game. Cuphead, the delicious last course. Are you saying they didn't? They didn't poke happy. They didn't put a cuphead or somebody. <laughs> What's the playing cards down there? Oh, that's your special usage, right? Wasn't that already in the game? Oh, yeah, was that? I, I don't know. I, I I played like one level of Cuphead. It was very difficult. It is. Yeah. This looks like more Cuphead, though. Honestly, I just hope we get some more bangers. Like the soundtrack to this game is always great. It's uh, something frenzy. It's the it's the plant stage where you fight the sunflower seed. That song is so good. I don't remember. Oh, super meter. Man, this person makes this game look easy. I mean, it still looks pretty tough. It's such an interesting decision to make your super elaborate, uh, like artwork, take 
place in an incredibly inaccessible <laughs> platform shooter. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's more Cuphead. Now, if you want even more Cuphead, and who doesn't, tomorrow we will and show I do. you an exclusive look <laughs> but at Jeff, season my two cup of the Cuphead over. show when I co-host Netflix's Geek Week, which will season include two? show and game announcements. It streams Was season one good? I don't Eastern. know. And that's not all. There's more Summer Game Fest all weekend long. Oh, Coming good. I was getting worried, Jeff. Oh, shit. Showcase with I am <laughs> Thin Double Fine, then Devolver's Marketing Countdown to Marketing. Tomorrow after Devolver's the Marketing. Week, that's the Devolver Game Conference. Showcase <laughs> at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern, with news on Rocket League and the Tribeca Game Showcase. And Rocket Sunday, League news. Don't the Rock the could Xbox be there. Xbox and Bethesda Game Showcase with a look at the future of Xbox and Game Pass. Now we have some exciting yep, news for it sure is Game Pass. Fans about Neon White, a game where you play an assassin from hell who slays demons for the chance to ascend. Oh, this game seemed cool. This was the shooter I think slash I remember this. Uh, dating yeah. sim, wasn't it? Wasn't there a dating sim element to this one? It's the card game. No, but I think there's also a there's something weird about this game. I mean, not that just looking at I mean, it sure. doesn't seem weird, but like. We're the, called I remember we were watching this when this was announced, and this looked really cool. Oh yeah, I mean it's definitely distinctive. But I'm finding it hard to believe we're in heaven. Now, if they made this rhythm-based, also. Now this looks like an arena it shooter. Does. This looks like an, an not an ultra kill, but something like that. You mission from all Mikey. You think you can win me over by showering me with gifts? Uh, like I think, I think they're making like an FPS Hades. Okay. Oh, I love it when they just flash random words. It's like Evangelion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish I didn't have the release date because then that screen that just said it's coming out, <laughs> I think it's just like really good on its, its own. Coming out is really funny. <laughs> Dude, Annapurna is a continually good publisher who makes like teams. unique games I really now like. Now it's time for a game made by a single father in Poland. Over the past year, he's the Witcher 4. To bring his vision oh, this looked really good the last time they showed this. Midnight Fight Express. To Did it? Let's take a look. I remember being really impressed by this. This isn't a case of one guy is over ambitious? I don't, it might be. I just meant the trailer looked really good. Get up again. Oh, sure. It's time, partner. Time to rise up. Together. Gamers, rise up. <laughs> we live in a society. Bottom text. Is this Hotline Miami, but for... But uh, for uh, gang beasts? I don't know. <laughs> action? Yeah. It's happening. Oh, this is the Joker. I'm the Joker, Maybe. baby. <laughs> I was also going to make that joke. I wish I did now. You know who put it there? Not him. Me. Well, I ain't wearing it anymore. And neither are you. Tonight, we wash this whole damn city down. It doesn't look like quite the same thing, but I am getting uh, Hotline Miami vibes out of these oh, yeah. out of these gameplay clips. Like, it looks you know good. What? Sure, I like... like that hasn't been around for a while. It looks good, especially if it's one person. Like, take a break, man. Such a cool game, and I'm happy to announce that a PC demo of this game is going live right now on Steam. And oh, look at that! Steam All Next right, cool. Fest next week, I really want more playable games to get in the hands of you guys at home, and that's one of them. Warframe. Joining me now is Megan from Digital Extremes to talk all things Warframe. I think she's Megan, like the one from I'm Warframe. So good. My fellow Canadian. I'm pretty sure she voices sure. like the the robot mom AI in Warframe. That's like your narrator well. and a bunch of stuff. Like she's also their community Warframe manager, years, I think. And I know right now, anyone watching on that's a Twitter lot of titles. Thirty minutes. This show is going to get a special Twitch drop, right? That's right. I already have seen people getting it, yes. so it's very exciting. And if you're watching it's this, right there, loud and get fucked because we're not giving you shit. Minutes for watching. Thank you for letting us. Warframe is the time game. I tried to play Warframe on several occasions. I probably had like 60, 70 hours in Warframe. No, Warframe. I mean, it's a decent shooter. It doesn't sound like you tried to play it. I mean, I did play it, but like, it's one of those games where that's not that much time, and that's kind of why I stopped. Uh, yeah, this is. It's like it's an ecosystem, right? Like you're either in or you're out. Yeah. It's like it's not like a. 
much. And it's like, um, I'm yeah, out. July 16th, 2022. <laughs> it's too much time. Was a digital event again this year. Uh, today, actually, we just launched. It's just like a lot of loot drop grinding. Like, this map has a 4% chance of dropping this rare material, and 4% oh, is yeah. generous. And it's like, I don't care enough. Is to, you know, kind of That's like crack to some people, dude. Yeah, like, people love it. And, like, it's a fun game. Like, don't get me wrong. The shooting is good, the movement's good. Do but just the a gameplay, a bit the weird demo. FOMO, and like you missed your prime frame be, window, you can't buy it anymore, it, it goes in the vault, and you're like, fuck. I don't know, it just seems right, it's a Warframe vault. It is, there is literally yes, a Warframe get vault. Okay, you're gonna get your first look Walt at... Walt Warframe's <laughs> gonna be like, okay, time to <laughs> time to bring you guys the submachine gun. War, uh, Walt Warframe really hates the Grenier. I'm so happy. Uh, the team worked really hard on the teaser you're about to yeah. see for it, and I'm just really proud and excited to show it. Now, here's a game I'm surprised they haven't made a two of yet. Let's take a look at that right now. You know this game is skateboarding? My child. Wait, They've added so much random stuff over all the expansions done, over the years. Is this still Warframe? Yeah. No, it's it's New wild. Await us now. Also, this is hot spoilers for anyone who's just getting into Warframe. Uh, yeah, your dude's a person the whole time. That's a big story reveal this that happened like two years ago, <laughs> three years ago. Is this like Warframe cross like Shadow of the Colossus? It, like, dude, it has here? morphed into so many different things over the time. Like this is an old game. The Duviri Paradox. You, you going to Tenocon? Fuck, dude. Yeah, we're live from a, ba you get a free Titania Prime <laughs> with a Crescent oh, Night Bundle. Shit. A crescent? Oh fuck, dude! I, if, it, if it was just a regular night bundle, I would have been like, no. Dude, that's worth so it, many crescent? endu crystals. And you get a stranger's oh, hood. Fuck. Next, it's time for a new look <laughs> and now for anime. Star Rail, an upcoming <laughs> open world space RPG. Christ. Yeah, a lot of space today from Genshin Impact. Studios. Space. He he, gets, he knows. Mobile and PC. This studio continues to deliver. So this is the Genshin Impact people. The very first time a new and exotic realm. Is this a new yes. game? I don't think they're dropping engine in back support, but they're just making like a urban sci-fi version. Is this a mobile game? It'll probably also be on mobile. Probably, it's probably gonna play exactly like Genshin, but with a different aesthetic. Listen, I probably would have tried Genshin you if, in like, right now. if it wasn't just a giant gacha game. I played a little bit of Genshin. Uh, the gameplay's kind of boring. And the mm. side quests are kind of boring, but it looks really pretty. How's the card drawing? Well, there's no card drawing. I wish. If it was a card game, I might have gotten more. How, how do you get your character? How do you get your characters? You just roll on a. It's called a banner. Uh, how's yeah. the? How's the rolling? Expensive. It is not friendly. Mm -hmm. Now you get a lot, right? Like if it's one of those things where you're supposed to log in every day, and like if you do that, you get an oh, sure. decent amount of rolls. But like. Do you have to? Yeah, the way the end game worked is like, not only do you have to get the five star rare, but in order to ascend them, you have to get five copies of the rare. And there's like ascension level nine. It's uh, it's so predatory, dude. It's so predatory. And like even the base game, if you wanted to kill like a week, you could probably have good fun with Genshin Impact for free, right? And that's cool. But like, it's I have wine. To there is a ceiling. What is this? Just the same thing? Is it? Oh, I guess. Are they announcing an expansion before the game's out? <laughs> That's not all from Hoyoverse. Today, I'm excited to introduce you to Zenless Zone Zero, their next major new IP. It's a futuristic. Wait, wasn't the last one a new IP? I have to say, I'm blown away. <laughs> Someone put a, <laughs> they got, got way too much Genshin money flying around, dude. They're Genshin just throwing it at projects. Fast-paced action style. They got Z3. Zark Zreams Zone. Zark Zreams Zone Zai. Zaj Zuck Zip Zivan Zaj. Maybe don't Zuck. <laughs> Maybe don't never go full Zuck. <laughs> Oh, look at these guys. I saw a cat lady. Look at these guys. I saw a dude with a big thing on it. A samurai looking guy. A fox lady. This one immediately looks cooler than the other one. 
Wolfman, okay. Weird Annabelle Creations doll. Ninja. The Defense Force. I don't know, man. I like the aesthetic of the other one more. Nah, this one's doing it this more for me. Like Not that either of these games are particularly doing it for me, but... Do you like the urban, like, sci-fi punk kind of look? Uh, yes. Have you played Ark Knights? Very much so. I have not. I don't even Arc know what that Knights is. Ark Knights is a gacha phone game. Uh, but mm. if you just want to look at the character designs, it is very, very cool. There's some really good designs in Ark Knights. That was just a wolf, man. Yeah, yeah. That's also in Ark Knights. That's a, that's a game. I'm yeah, sure it won't sure. cost a bajillion dollars to play like all their other games, <clears> but... <laughs> that's the one. How many different games oh, can shit. the small of population of whales support? <laughs> How many whale milking <laughs> games <laughs> can there be at any given time? Well... It's nearing the end of development, <laughs> and the team wanted to use SGF as a mm -hmm. way to reveal Ninja one exciting aspect of the game they've been keeping uh, under wraps until now. Remember that Platinum Games one that was new... really bad? Yeah. Is this at least a new one, or is this just another remake of Ninja Turtles? Oh, like the arcade game? Yeah. Or one of the SNES games. I don't know. Is this... I, I don't know enough about it. Does this look like... I mean, this looks like it's. I mean, it's either a remake or a new one that's like. Yeah, in I mean, style it looks of. like fun pixel graphics. Oh, yeah. Digging the song. I'm just tired of re releases. Oh, I mean, yeah. Like, if this is a new thing, that's cool. People love those turtle, old Turtles games. I have fond memories of, like, the first two levels of it. See, I don't ever really, like, had anywhere around arcade-wise to, like, play any of them. Like, that's something that I just have zero experience with. Yeah, I never did either. Um, we had to go to, like, a place that was, like, an hour away, and I don't remember why we ever went there, but we did every now and again when I was a small child. That's cool, though. I feel like the closest I've gotten... Like this and The Simpsons. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Nah, nah, what's up? So, like, the closest I've gotten, there's a D&D &D Chronicles of, like, Mystaria, which is, like, a brawler, like, a beat-em-up like this. That's a D&D &D focused. You, you, like, each player gets a different class. That was really cool. That's But I played that on, like, PC way after the fact. But it was it was fun. Uh, June 16th. Super people. That's not chess. I'm doing a quick Google. Oh, it's a new one. It's a new Ninja Look Turtles. That. Good for them. Do you like super people? Uh, eh, take it or leave it. Look at how cool that person looks. Is this a battle royale? He, or is this an arena he shooter? He didn't even finish his is whiskey. Is this a hero shooter? Oh, there's vehicles. That makes me think battle royale. Is this... I was just thinking we needed another one. Is this Population 2? If this, if this is a VR battle royale, I'll mm -hmm. be stoked, but I sort of doubt it. Okay, what is I, this? I, you need to at least show me, like, a two-second clip. What was that Aliens game? Like, have the CG trailer if you want to, but at least show me, like, three frames of the genre <laughs> that it is, you know? Like... <laughs> It's just called Super People. Okay. Oh, sure. Amplitude. Human is are we getting Humankind DLC? Amplitude? The. Uh, oh shit! I was gonna make a joke, but I can't remember. Amplitude Studios. I'm more of a frequency fan. Okay. There, there we you go. go. There that's, you go. Classic. That's, that's my joke. Do you like they that? They make uh, they make all the Endless series games, like Endless Legend, Endless Space, Endless Dungeon. Mm, uh, and they also make yeah. Humankind, which is their Civ competitor. Uh, it's a fun game. That's a. Uh, Okay. I mean, okay. Now, if only that was Assassin's Creed. <laughs> you would have been on your money. But wait, <laughs> there's more. Assassin's Creed. Christ. This 
is an interesting. This looks like a mobile game ad. These were like these the were their on original television. trailers while they were getting started. Before Humankind released, they were showing this one lady uh, in a bunch of different cultures. What is it coming to console? I would not want to play Civ on a console, man. How far will you push, human? I don't know. I played uh, Civilization Revolution. That was two, on a phone, though, right? No, they ported it to oh, PS3. Oh, really? Because I played that on my phone. I'm like, touchscreen seems fine. That's my, good for a Civ. Me, my brother, and my cousin were way into that okay. game. How was it? Did it play well? Humankind allows you it, to You know, at the time, I didn't really ha take a super critical eye towards it, but from the ancient right. I always see those, like, RPGs, like... One Hard, piece like Crusader Kings on PS3. Oh, one Piece Odyssey. Fuck. Zach, how big of a One Piece fan are you? Motherfucking One Piece. Oh, the biggest One Piece fan. I read the oh, first love Luffy. 200 chapters a year or two ago. That is a lot. But not when it comes to One Piece. And I was like, <laughs> this isn't for me. Because I'm a big Berserk fan. Uh, and people are like, what are the long-running series? Pirates. Oh, you gotta read One Piece, you gotta read One Piece. And I'm like, guys, this isn't even close to what I'm looking for, but... <laughs> My brother's a huge One Piece fan. A lot fan. of people are, dude. It's real popular. They're making a live-action show on uh, Netflix for this. I'm sure it'll be great. Oh, yeah? yeah. Who's Garjo playing? One Piece fans are like so hyped, but well, the real One Piece fans are like, why aren't any of them speaking English? <laughs> the, the, the four kids, dumb. why doesn't he? Why does he have a cigarette? He's, he, he eats lollipops. <laughs> what do you? <laughs> Usopp's cool. Skull dude Usopp's cool. cool. I like Usopp. He's a huge coward. That's his deal. He lies and is a coward. Oh, Goro's the whole here. Time. Mm -hmm. No, sorry, Zoro. Yeah, this here, is the Goro. dude who has cigarettes. Maybe I'm just like too cynical and jaded, but like One Piece is just a little too goofy for me, I think. I'm okay if a little goofy, yeah. but like it's real goofy. With new encounters. You know, there's a place for camp. This is beyond camp, dude. Like And hidden mysteries. But I'm glad they're like getting a game, because for how pervasive of a property One Piece has been for like oh, 30 games, years, dude. but not like They've had, like, Shinobi Strikers, like, fighting games. But they never had, like, an adventure. Like, there's never an RPG. I thought there was one, like, platformer they made. I don't think so. But this is, like, a full Final Fantasy, like. Yeah, I mean, hey, cool. 2022. So, like, I mean, uh, yeah. Skate, skate 4? This August, In the desert. Soul Hackers 2 from Atlas what, the, <laughs> what is Soul Hackers? First listen to the, English the Shin Megami Tensei. quick new look. Yeah. Is it closer to SMT or is it closer to Persona? I think it's its own thing. I think it's a but like different in tone. Genre. Oh, Megami Tensei, oh, 100%. Okay. I'm kind of more interested in the Persona side of that scale, but... Yeah, most people are, but... Pretty much any other SMT yeah. offshoot doesn't really do that. I mean, they all have, like, characters and stuff. It's not, like, completely, Oh, yeah, like... I know. I played, uh, the latest SMT for a little bit. You get one more chance to I never, I, I never bought that game. I was interested, though. It's a little too grungy for me. Yeah. I think I could probably deal. So that's our mission, then. Save the world. I forget whoa, 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 whoa. what the conceit with the original Zach, Soul Hackers I'm going to do this. Um, I'll, I'll save it for later. I won't stop the flow. I thought I heard a clip of something in the end there. Hmm. I'll, I'll bring, I'll bring it up. I'll bring it up later. Go for it. Save up to 75% off top PC titles with an additional 25% off eligible products. Oh, shit. Mega sale without the free games vault featuring Maneater. Be sure to claim your copy before the sale ends on June 16th. Tune into the Epic Games Store Twitch channel. Bring back the $10 coupon. I don't think I got Maneater. Oh, no. You missed out on Maneater? 
this year and beyond. I mean, this just happened earlier today, so I assume it's still up there. Tunic. Is this a GOG universe ad? What is Utomic? I've never heard of it. I mean, Utomic. this looks like God Galaxy. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's no way this is Xbox. They'd save that for the Xbox show. Wait, what? No. The Samsung Gaming Hub. Yeah, don't you want more bloatware on your Samsung TVs? What the fuck is this? Is this like... It's just their part... If you have a Samsung TV, you can play like Microsoft, like Game Pass Cloud games yeah, on probably. it? Yeah, like probably. That's probably exactly what it is. That's... Cool, I guess, but who is that for? People who don't want to buy a Chromecast? But who are going to pay for Game Pass? You bring up a good point, Zach. Also, did that say you're my, my new favorite controller? Oh, it doesn't just use an Xbox one? Unless it's a new thing you gotta Capcom. pay for. Capcom! This doesn't look like Dragon's Dogma 2. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Could be. Oh, great. Capcom Arcade Stadium 2. When are we gonna get to the point where like people are making like these types of collections, but it's like twenty like Xbox 360 games? <laughs> yeah, for me, uh, I mean we're not even at like the PS1 yet, are we? Are there PS1 collections? No. Isn't this Ow. game out now? You're gonna get or is it is that super uh, soon? Tomorrow, is it tomorrow? I think. I played a lot of Strikers growing up. I don't know if I'd play it now. I played a little bit. It's like when your brothers it's and sisters are in the same room with you, and you have a GameCube. But, like, I'm not in that situation. See, that's the thing. I'm sure... For me, it, it, it's been the same thing with all of these Nintendo, like, Mario sports games. They're just too light on content. Like, the gameplay's fine. It's just, like, there's no reason to yeah, do there it. Was like and it's, a, like, playing online, online is not enough. Yeah, if there's, like, a Paper Mario, like, storyline, like, career mode. Yeah. yeah. But what if you had to? In metal, the better you are at slaying. Is this just a uh, fury? Or no, what's it called? And BPM bullets per minute. From B yeah, like bullets per minute. Because there were two of these games being so made at the same time, and the, the developers accused it. each other of like stealing. So I'm curious. Steam, Xbox, Only one of them. So is this the other one? Maybe. Because like, even check it out. Is the, the HUD is the exact same. Like the triangles on either side are the exact same. Uh, I mean, that just seems lifted straight from Necro Dancer. Well, the concept is, but like, I mean, the the aesthetics are different. The other one's like a PS1 D make Viking inspired thing. Uh, oh, sure. But like those triangles specifically, like, I don't know how else you do that. That seems like the best way to well, you made it any convey shape. that information close to your crosshair, I guess. I don't know. It's just funny that they both came out at the, like, the exact same time, both announced at the exact same time, and that's... I want like a Guitar Hero shooter. Where you're playing like, on we, a guitar? Can we, can... <laughs> no, I meant like it's one of these, Jack, but with Guitar Jack Hero Black. branding. Ev Evanescence. <laughs> the monkeys. Like, like next to your crosshair, it's just Guitar Hero notes. <laughs> Hit the style meter, the crowd's like, oh. Or the crowd's getting in. Activate your star power. <laughs> I mean, I like rhythm shooters. I found that out about myself. BPM's really fun. Is that a genre now? Now there's one of them, so yeah. Now there's tend to be two. I mean, I guess if if you have two games, it's a genre, Ultra right? Ultra Kill's kind of a rhythm shooter. There, you don't know how forced to do it, but the way the game flows, you just kind of end up doing it in a rhythm. Uh, yeah. That one was Metal Helsinger coming later this year from Funcom, a rhythm shooter with metal music. And right now, as they mentioned, a demo has launched on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation mm. for you to play. For Can't free. wait to go try that out. Next up, a new game launches tomorrow: The Quarry from Supermassive Games. This yeah, The Quarry. To Until Dawn. Zach, would you like David every time you I like hear The Quarry at some point on the reviews, channel? Maybe this is one of those binge-worthy teen yeah, horror entertainment I don't experiences. Know. Where your every choice shapes is it a full length game or is it a Man no, of Dawn style? Until Dawn size. New York. Ooh. Here's the first look. Hell yeah. It'd be really fun to do one of these, but each Family person gets a different character. Like if you got a group. <laughs> oh, that's fun, yeah. Peter Stormare. Uh, that's not Peter no. Stormare. That is no, not, not Peter Stormare. I just want it to be Peter Stormare. Well just... Every time I see yep. Supermassive, I think Supergiant. I don't use the two. 
I we're gonna hear spike in the wall. Pull them back out. Can't. Or spike in the rail or whatever. Are we... <laughs> she pulling oh man, I love that song. Right down at the bottom of the well with the rest of them. Is this a this is a jail? Yeah, this is a camp. Kids go to a camp next to a quarry what? and stuff happens. There is a lot more to this than you realize. Like what? Kidnapping, murder, cover-ups. I think the whole Hackett family is in on it. You have no They're showing a lot in this trailer. Not a goddamn clue. Are these the same actors? Just generic teen actor, you know, like early 20 playing a teenager. Like that cop is like giving me like. Who says Oh, what's the guy's name? Goodbye, cruel world. Who was in Until Dawn? We gotta get out. Oh, uh, Remy Malik. Yeah, that cop looked sort of game. Uh, maybe yeah. not. I mean, he got his start in Until Dawn, didn't he? This isn't a ghost story. It's a creepy. Uh, I don't think it was his start. Because then he went to start, Mr. Robot yeah, and got really on. big. Yeah. I, I will, like, play that game rules, you know. at some point. Like, yeah. Until Dawn's good. Back at the game yeah, it seems cool. Proud to reveal Nightingale, a shared I just hope it's not too much of a retread, you know? Yeah, how many of the same Canada, tricks are they going to use, you know? Give you a brand new look yeah. And a deeper look at the game, including its innovative realm card system that lets you impact things like the weather pattern, resources, I like and cards wow. in its procedural realms. Here is your exclusive new look. I like cards. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. Uh, okay. <laughs> Smash cut to dude with a fucking uh, axe. What? Wait, where did the cards come in, Jeff? <laughs> Wait, it's a it's a Is rust it life? Oh, it's a survival crafting game where you build a I'd deck of modifiers each time. Uh, dude, fuck survival craft em ups. I mean, I'm kind of with you. If the portal arch is Valheim was fun. I, did, I didn't even like them when they were new. I think Valheim's fun. Cards, you can activate yeah. Uh, I hear you. Beware the foul things lurk in the interrealmic void. So, like, to get in. I kind of dig it. If, like, you have to Be carry stuff through gates so that like, you can only bring a certain amount of gear with you and then you're in a whole new environment, that's a good way to, like, keep the loop going, you know? Like, if it's a roguelike... I think that's kind of what they're going I've softened for. on that genre, but I am not here for survival crafting. Yeah, maybe it's pseudo. Like, a little bit of A, a little bit of B. That did not look good on the animation on that big guy. He was glitching out a little bit. I mean... The more I'm watching this, the more it seems all right. Like, there's gun... There's guns. The Feywilds. But now it's just building, you know? Like... Yeah. Like, what's compelling you to move to a different realm? Or do you just go to realms to do, like, an adventure, and then you bring gear back to build it in your hub world? Like, what's the flow? Maybe it's an... Maybe it's like an idle game. You have to prestige. Oh... I'm, I keep waiting for someone to make a triple-A idle-style game. Uh, I mean, insert MMO joke here. Hmm. Uh, I don't even like the, the name idle game as a genre, but... I know, it reminds me too much of Poonie Pop. ...that we revealed last year at Gamescom. And today, <laughs> we're happy to announce the launch of the Boss Factory demo... Oh, man, PC the Saints Row Boss Factory. ...and set up your character, and since it's Saints Row... What the fuck is the character creator before the game comes out, probably. Oh, right. This is a reboot, yes, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, sure. You gotta do something to capture Go download the character creator, so you'll be ready day one. Me. I mean, this is the type of thing where if I was 16, eagerly awaiting this game with bated breath, I might have done that. I never... There's the wheelies. I never played the fourth, but I played the third. Uh, it was fun. Yeah, third is yeah, great. So the fourth one was all right, too. It's a different little bit of a different thing, but... It was fun in its own way. Oh no, the type of the humor in these games never landed for me. Uh, I, I like the third one. It, I mean, it's a bit on the nose, right? But I, I sort of, dinner and a show, baby. I was able to sort of take it in stride. I mean, you know? some of it's but, good. Like I like the humor where they're like singing in the car to Sublime, but like I don't like when you just have the dildo sword. Yeah. I, 
Maybe I maybe this isn't something a person of my age should say, <laughs> but I I can get down with some juvenile yeah, that's fine. humor, that's you fine. know. Hitting people with a dildo. This looks It's just inherently it's like funny. a very in-depth character creator. We're gonna see Oh, this is one hundred percent like okay streamers, get your monster. Yeah, I was gonna say out. we're getting a like, uh, McElroy Monster Factory episode out of this one. And like so we're I feel like we're in sort of a weird situation again where it was like it was fifty million years like the Xbox 360 came out and the PS3 was out and they didn't make GTA four until two thousand and eight. And so Saints Row had an opportunity to like slip in there, right? And I feel like now we're sort of back to the same thing where it's like they've just been making GTA five fifty million times, so I feel like there's room again going for Saints Row to come in same... and be like Not so not as much anymore, but I feel like wasn't that the whole point of this sort of thing? Was that they're going back to like sort of a more not grounded, right? Because obviously that was very wacky, but like Next not superhero computer matrixy stuff. I don't know, but I do know I'm excited for Dark Tide. Fat Shark's follow up. All right, which one's this? This is uh, Vermintide. Vermintide people. Fat Shark. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. This game looks really good. Uh, and, and Vermintide is very good, so I'm pretty pumped. PC, this is War for Hammer. Yeah, this is uh, War Xbox. Base 50,000 uh, Dark Tide. There has to be a Photoshop in there with Left 4 Dead and Warhammer 40k. Something oh, has to be You can be Someone... the first to the punch. So you play as a penal squad yeah. that gets sent to kill Nurgle, because the only mm -hmm. Chaos God they ever want to show is fucking Nurgle for some reason. Yeah, dude, come on, let the Where's other Chaos Corn and Zinch? Like, where's Slanesh? They're never going to show Slanesh, but... Well, I heard Corn's coming onto the show a little later. Sorry, man. You're talking to the wrong person about <laughs> Warhammer. I only, I only got jokes. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, one of the interesting things they did with Vermintide is that you play as a character. Like, you're a named character, right? Like, Left 4 Dead style. Um, and they had a personality. Coach. But this game is create a character. I mean, you have classes, but like you have a customizer, because people in Warhammer love to paint their little miniatures. So they had to make the dialogue a little bit more generic. So like you have a title now instead of a name. Like you're like the guardsman or the psyker or something. Uh, yeah, this game looks really good. I don't care too much about the, like the 40k tabletop game, but the universe is really fun. How much of this universe is, like, set in stone, and how much of it is just people fucking making shit up every time there's a new 40k I mean, thing? it's been, like, 30 years of constant 40k stuff, so, like, there's enough to draw on from pretty much anything, right? Uh, it's, it's... Okay, let's put it this way. If... If I wanted to get into some 40k lore, what do I... What, what do I watch? What do I consume? What do I play? To... To get There's it. a series on YouTube called If the Emperor Had a Text-to-Speech Device that'll tell you everything you need to know, <laughs> and it's very funny. So, uh... But, like, okay, but how, how did this come about originally? What, Warhammer? How did people experience... Well, no, like, the lore, the story stuff for this. Oh, they put out... Is dude, all the story stuff in the tabletop so game? There's so much Warhammer lore, dude. Psychological horror they, games like is it a Kingdom Hearts thing? Do I gotta no, play, no, no, like, no, no, no. It's, different it's, games? It's a chronology. Like, like it's... But, like, they put out, like, five, six books a year. Experience. Every time you it's buy a new book for your army on the tabletop, it has, like, a hundred pages of lore. fuck. I'm not even paying attention to what's on the screen right now. There's like, this looks like uh, there's like, oh, uh, who's the the medium people? Oh, blooper team. They just said layers of fear, so I think, yep. Did they make the first layer of is fear, this, or did they just buy the property? Yeah, yeah. Is this Silent Hill? Are we getting it? No, isn't there a game literally called Layer of Fear? Yeah, it oh, is. Okay. This is not it, I don't think. I mean, maybe it is. Bloober are rumored to be making a Silent Hill game. No one has realized they suck at making games yet, huh? There's a lot of people on Twitter who have realized that they suck at it's making games. It's been like twin, like eight, nine years that they've been releasing mediocre after mediocre game. Yeah. I mean, this is painting, so it looks like this is Layers of Fear related, probably. Did they buy the IP? Because I don't think they made Layer of Fear. No, did they, they? I could have sworn they did. They did it. They're yeah. one hit wonder, I guess. That was their thing. Like people generally, like people. Layer of fear is good. It is mine. Yeah. Two, I saw some goofy streamer nonsense. Psychedelic horror chronicle. I see it. All 
this misery. All this Kingdom suffering. Hearts is light. There was no other way. <laughs> Donald. I don't know. I'm sort of more. Really? I'm sort of goofy. <laughs> <laughs> Gorsh. Man, they're that really pushing Unreal Engine 5 there. this conference. Yeah, I mean, it's a good engine. Yeah, it is. That's the thing. I'm so, I'm always sort of morbidly curious to see what Bloober Team does. Because I felt like a lot of the criticisms about the medium were more in the story department. So I'm like, all right, what are these fucking guys going to... I gonna mean, <laughs> yeah, the biggest criticisms are in the story department. But, like, I think even just the gameplay and sure, the pacing right. are bad, too. But... The medium has its fans. I don't think it was pan. Layers of fears. Z -z -z. Z -z. Add to sure. your wish list. You know, I, I sort of get it, right? Like they they did their little indie Gotham games. Knights they got arrived. their chance at the big Batman times. Now they dead. want to take to give Batman it another shot. Batman is dead. Girl, Not to cut you off, Zach. That's Robin big news. To protect Gotham. To give us an exclusive new look, let's head to yeah. Montreal Breaking news. to hear from executive is this, producer This is still happening? What is Gotham? I haven't heard anything about this. Can you fill me in? What's up with Gotham Knights? Hello and warm welcome. I thought it was their like multiplayer game. Like, I'm uh, like DC's Avengers? On Gotham Knights. I don't Today, know. We are thrilled to share more with you on one of our beloved Knights, Nightwing. Nightwing? Is, is that Robin? In our character series, and we're really looking is that... Forward to I don't more think so. As we continue right. working towards our launch so I know Robin has 25. like 20 different so pseudonyms. So I hope you enjoy the show and stay tuned. I think Robert Pattinson's in this game. That looks like Robin to me. I had nothing. Yeah. And then this city Maybe I... Uh... It's oh, people. I'm confusing my lore. Maybe Nightwing is Robin. Or like one of the variants. I don't know, comic books, man. Batman. Like, you could look at a werewolf and be like, yeah, that was Robin in issue 152 in universe 365. Yeah, like, this is, like maybe maybe this is Robin offshoot. Punished Robin. Sort of thing. Like maybe Robin still, like, like maybe both Robins exist at the same time, but this one's Well, there's Nightwing. like three Robins. There's like a Tom. I think there's like a... Dick Gracie, is that the name of one of them? Dick Grayson's like yeah, the famous one, yeah. I think, yeah, from the movies. Always to do. And now, yeah, this is a action RPG, so says. So says like Google. A Diablo? Or like a. I don't know, open, or open like a world Spider Man action RPG. Okay, like a Spider Man? What I don't know is if it's single player or multiplayer. Is this what the Rock City guys have been doing? Maybe. That'd be cool. I got this, Bruce. That does look like Robert Pattinson, huh? Eh, I don't know. With a voice? He just did generic All dramatic right, voice. Here. That was Gotham Knights, and now we welcome... Oh, look who it is. Neil Druckmann from Naughty Dog. Oh. Co-president of Naughty Dog. Uh, I won't get into it here. Neil. It's been a... Uh, <laughs> An eventful day on the this is for Skate Dogs 4, fans. right? And, uh, I think we jinxed ourselves. We were joking about last night, like, watch the ass. I'll hold my tongue on Neil Druckmann. Well, the good news is there's some stuff that hasn't leaked that we have lots to share with people about uh, all things. Well, what do you think he brought? Last, last of Us 3? Last, last, last of Us 1 remake again. Last of Us fans, because Last of Us 1 both launched in June. and Because there's already a remaster for the PS4, but it's not on the PS5 yet, so we got to get on that. Hard to believe. Yeah, that or PC uh, announcement. Um, you know, nine years for Last of Us One, two years for Last of Us Part Two. Because Sony, like, Sony came out saying the, they like, want half their games on PC by 2025, and so it might be a PC port. It's cool. So yeah. um, but like, and it's, it's, it's not the constant re-releasing that bothers me. Like, I think it's cool to have uh, all these games on the platforms that yeah, you own, right? Make but it's your like, games be able to, if you can't do backwards um, compat, so then yeah, yeah. But like, not every one of them is a fucking event that people are going to care about. Like, yeah, because it's just been a silent port, you know. Like, okay, very interesting. So, which I guess, like, whatever, right? You got to run the marketing machine. But like, is is there not a point of saturation here? Apparently not, because they keep doing it. So one of the things we've mentioned a while back is what started out as. Uh, Multiplayer mode has I mean, Last of Us 1 is a really good game, to be fair. I love the Last of Us 1. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a fantastic game. 
And over the, they've been working on it for the past two years. Never Ambitious played two, growing. always wanted to, never got around to it. We're not ready to fully unveil it, but we're ready to lift the current a little bit and just give you like an update of where we're at. Okay, well, oh, great. Um, what can you tell us about this new standalone multiplayer game? Yeah, so uh, we have a concept art that we Did you play show, Last of Us 1's um, multiplayer? Uh, but what, what I can't tell uh, you is I dipped around in it. Surprisingly fun. Big. Okay. Um, it's as big yeah, as any of our I was never any good games. at it, which uh, I think. Me neither. I never spent the time. I was much better at the Uncharted multiplayer. Uh, the way we're but telling that story is very unique. Yeah, I yes, liked yeah. Uncharted 3's multiplayer um, a lot. It's good. Last of Us is, was really good, too. Uh, another part of the so if they do a standalone like multiplayer game, like yeah, those players. games play yeah. really well. My problems with Last of Us 2 um, are not in the gameplay department. Uh, and it's, it's, it's really cool. And it's being headed by Vinith Uggerwal, um, Anthony Newman, and uh, Joe Padnetti, all veterans of Uncharted and Last of Us. And you're going to see a lot more of this game come next year. Next year. So we wait till next year to hear more next about that year. one. Okay, well, very exciting that uh, this has evolved. And, I mean, Great. Last, I'm glad you came, glad you came here, Neil. Neil, Neil deconfirmed for this game. 2022. Live Jesus. Game. Uh, it's, it's something special. I, we can't wait to show it either. Okay, well... Um, no, he's just going to show up on stage and be like, you got anything for us, Neil? He's going to be like, no, I already told you. Just going to be like, okay, moving on. World premiere. show for HBO, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's last year, um, you a know, thing. We teamed up with Craig Mazin of Chernobyl fame and HBO. That coming out soon? To adapt The Last of Us into a TV, What's it uh, TV gonna show. going to um, be? Filming and, uh, it's pretty the Last of Us is like a really bad. tiny story, back, right? It's like yeah. Jules' is it so journey and then into I think enough you could do in a, so in a season, well, It would just though. be generic zombie. Right, like um, there's nothing that would tie it into the greater uh, Last of Us universe because be it's just of, a like, character Craig, story. That whole crew and everybody uh, looks up there. Uh, and is it not an adaptation? Filming, oh, is it? Tomorrow. That'd so be good. Series, last day of I don't know. I, I guess I just sort of assumed. I know. Uh, that'd be know. good. Do like the uh, fall, so it's, it's right? Close. It's close. Have a couple like episodes before everything falls apart. You actually got to direct one of the episodes. Yes, uh, I think that really speaks to the kind of collaboration and trust that exists between Naughty Dog and HBO. They invited me to direct one of the episodes. You know, I trust I HBO. I, I'm, the if there's it. one of these shows look, that I'm cautiously optimistic <laughs> about. Oh, yeah, dude. Dude, no. Yep. Might know from the game. I'm what? so jaded. Um, like, I like a lot of HBO shows, but ever Pascal since, they haven't won me back since Game of Thrones flopped. The other episodes, they've thrown them oh, sure, I guess. Like, that was um, such like, a throw, Pascal? man. Watching the nuance that they bring to these characters. I like Pedro Pascal a whole lot. Kills it in Game of Thrones. I couldn't help but think about... Troy Baker and Ashley Johnson. Did you ever see so, so uh, uh, Incredible Weight or Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent? I did not, no. Was that an HBO um, joint? Really feels like this no, he's in it. No, right? it was so a Pedro Pascal. Pascal. Okay. Yeah. I will say this will and be the most he's the highlight of that movie. In a movie about Nick well, Cage, I mean, starring Nick Cage, out, just, Pedro Pascal like is the highlight. He always is. He's in Game of Thrones for like two episodes, and he's like the coolest character. And that's awesome to see Joel and Ellie from... Was he a Star War at some point? Time. He is um, so Mandalorian, that, right? Next year, that's coming as well, right? Serious? Uh, is that him? We'll hear about it very soon. That's okay. Okay. I'll say right now. I should watch right. that show. Well, oh, it's good. It's very, one very of the few uh, Star Wars uh, properties I'd recommend. I hear you actually have a couple actors from the show who are uh, going to join we us here. We happen to have a couple actors here that are part of the show. Okay, come on up. Is Pedro uh, here? Sound of Last of Us. Do, do, do. Oh, what's up, guys? Oh, Breaking out the Troy Surprise. Breaker again. Back Wait. Again. Hello, I know. <laughs> got Ashley Johnson <laughs> and Troy Baker. I, I thought maybe Pedro I love bringing Troy Baker back for like a second yeah. time on the, the same. Game, like, right? I get so, it, right? He goes to walk uh, off stage and some stage hands show. like, no, no, you got to stay, Troy. You'll be back <laughs> out. <laughs> Um, and we're but it's like, oh, I think like we have an actor or two. And it's like, like the same guy who was there like half an hour. Um, yeah, I'm biased. Half an hour yeah. ago. I'm biased because I watched a lot of Critical Role, but like Ashley Johnson's it has great. To be more than just like kind of like a wink to the camera. Oh sure. Like a yeah. Cameo. What? Yeah, um, I, I, I'm, I'm struggling. What might I know her from? Uh, Ellie. But man, I was, I'm bummed that I couldn't be there with you guys. Oh, is, is that Ellie? Okay, cool. And there's been so much stuff it's I so, feel like so good on the internet. There's so much like talking about games? what's being filmed, and I think that's I believe so. because it kept a complete secret. Definitely one. Oh, that's that's cool. the only one I can say with 100% now, certainty. Yeah. Well, keeping yeah. secrets with this franchise is kind of old hat. Like we've except had except for today, yeah. 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 except for the date. Except for the date, it was it was one of the hardest things for us to do is to let not let people know that because we're so proud of it and the work that we did. We worked hard. The the crew. I have to say. Um, when I walked out on set, are these um, guys involved in the show? Why met, are they like, literally here? Literally, person that I met on that crew uh, is such. I a fan don't of this game. know. They all <laughs> knew what it was that they were working on and committed to working on this project. Because he's because he, Troy Baker is talking about walking on set. Love for the for the game. I mean, they probably have cameos. Um, it was really great. It was right, like, like it was coming home. When would you expect? Yeah. 
I'd yeah, expect a good cameo. Neil Druckmann's detail, probably in it. The crew was amazing. Bella and Pedro are directed yeah. an episode. Well, it doesn't surprise me, I, but they're so perfect, and it it we we've been trying to sort of describe that feeling of sort of seeing them in person. It's it's. Right, like, I'm gonna take this opportunity to bounce for it's like a minute or so. Good. Probably it's good coming window. to life, but it it. It's so much more than that. I feel like I can't fully explain it, but I am so excited to be a part of it and just, I can't wait to see it. I think it is going to be so good. I mean, if they wanted to pick a game to make a movie of or a show of, Last of Us and Uncharted are like really good picks. Like they're pretty much already shows or movies. Right? Like every episode, like every level in The Last of Us has like a hard cut and transition. And that's that's your episode. You know? I can tell you. Like where you get Bills in the suburbia. That's an episode. The first episode where like the zombies are starting to break out and you're running away as Joel. That's an episode. Like to talk about it's uh, the so idea already well paced uh, like uh, that you can make a show so easily out of it so this would probably be like a, a slam dunk remake? is that right that's right uh we wanted to give people the definitive version of the, the first game oh wow they are remaking it technology oh, it's uh, not find a it's way like to get even not that old you guys vision. Um, we're able to do it on the ps5 and pc and instead of talking about it let's look at it all right let's take a look but i miss uh Last there is a remake not a remaster Uncharted uh, 1 for PlayStation 5 and PC. They're showing it now, which looks... Last of Us 1, you mean? Yep. This doesn't look long enough ago where this just looks like Last of Us 1 in my mind, what it looked like. <laughs> yeah. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's just... I. Uh, it's why? not even a remaster. It's a remake. Like, do you not think Last of Us 1 was good enough already? One of, are, they, one of the, are they doing it? Is this like uh, Street Fighter the movie, the game sort of thing? <laughs> Maybe. Or? One of the most acclaimed yeah. and well-received games of all time. Now nah, we gotta remake it. It's the outside. So is that everything you hope for? Can't be any worse out there. This cutscene is just in the first game. Can this it? isn't even remade. It's just a re I don't get it. Like, why? Oh, that's the DLC. Did they weave that in? That'd be new. Yeah. Did they weave? If they, Maybe, yeah, they cool. weave the DLC yeah. in. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? Like, you that's, made Joel look more up to like. You've added polygons to Joel's face, but like. Is that the same performance for Joel? Joel, he sounds different than I remember. I mean, Troy Baker's voice has probably just changed over the years. But I mean, it's I'm just. Did they redo it? I, they said or it's a it, remake, yeah. but it looked exactly shot the shot same for me. Truly one of my favorite games of the past I mean, decade, guys. Yeah. What's your reaction to that? I don't know. This just seems yeah, unnecessary. Seen yeah, you're watching it in real time. Yeah. Uh, I mean. It's because like, you did these performances. I mean, these okay. Performances I guess. Just seems ago. like yeah. you didn't go back in. I mean, you used the. Why didn't you remake like Uncharted yeah, One? We we came up with a process where we could take the original. Like at least that would have. Oh, they did use the same performances. Faces and kind of like retarget it on these new rigs that have a lot more fidelity. And then the animators went back and We're studied. Side by side here, just I mean, it looks better. It that you went I didn't realize how yeah, big the eyes okay. were in the first like, one. Okay. Everything was re uh, rebuilt from the ground up. Uh, same art director, re-art directed the whole thing from the ground up. Um, but the, the great thing about these faces is that um, they're closer to the original performance. Are all the the remastered one looked better in that shot. And got it closer to what Looking at Ellie anyways. Than we could have achieved before. You know, um, it's like, like good because it's the last about, like, of us one, but like, yeah, like, is, is um, it's it's a weird thing because like uh, I sort of I kind of thinking more about it like I kind of get the appeal that, that, that you want like part one and part two to be like this unified mm. thing instead of like okay like part one's a PS3 game and part two is a PS5 game. What about when they release part three? Do you bring back one and two also? Maybe. Yeah, I mean, I, I, guess, I, I don't know. I guess the question... Okay, so this is a question... Hopefully they're not talking about anything important, because I had a thought recently on the show. where I says, um, what is the minimum acceptable level now of, like, a series? Playing, like, uh, yeah, like is PS2 game, right? Like, you play Ratchet and Clank. Um, you play the first one, PS2. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, other series, like Metal Gear is a perfect one, where it's like, you play the PS, PS1 game, that's a little dated. PS2, so it's better. What's, like, the minimum acceptable standard now? What's too old? To, like, go back and play what's too old? Well, I mean, yeah. that's, that's personal, like, right? Like, anyone's gonna do it. 
since I think sure, anything right. pre on, like, PS3 and, and back is probably too old at this point. How many yeah, people still have their PS3 yeah. hooked up Just to, to play a, a PS3 out, exclusive? Uh, this project is oh, that's the thing. By, uh, well, Gallant looking at this game, it's like Sky, obviously uh, they feel uh, like a PS3 game, even remastered to PS4, is like too. They obviously feel like it's too dated at this point to stand. Like people aren't going to want to play it. I mean, they did it with the Uncharted series, right? Didn't they put out a Nathan Drake collection on the PS4? Yeah, like even the which wasn't that which wasn't that great, but then they did another one recently oh, is that true? and actually went over and like uh, yeah they did i think they did a, 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 another passover is it just a bad port uh, uh, not original uh, otherwise uh, we'll say no we it was just a uh, port okay Do you have eh. a new project? Uh, we'll i wouldn't expect anything more like i don't think you have to remake them even okay, just a port well, we'll to get no. it on is good. <laughs> right. uh, Troy, I think they did touch him up a little so bit in the new one. Uh, I'm, yeah, I feel like anything PS3 and back is in the, the especially in the greater sphere of like the whole gaming audience. I don't know. Because I feel like PS3, I don't. I still don't feel like that's super dated. But I guess I'm being out, out, out outvoted here. Was that our closer? Was The Last of Us on yeah. PC? Oh, yeah. When I hovered over this video earlier to check what the end was, I saw the Naughty Dog oh. people there, yeah. Well, that was kind of underwhelming. Yeah, yeah. I don't really know what I expected, but... It's the you know, the something. You Neither of our two. No, we, we we lost the bonus points. Neither of our two. Uh, yeah. What was I trying to find here? Where was that SMT? Where was that in the series? Oh, Soul Hackers. Yeah, where was Soul Hackers? Uh, some random spot. Oh, there it is. I want the specifically the end of this trailer. It's, there's a musical sting. Hold on. It sounds a lot like from Zone of the Enders, Beyond the Bounds, which is hyper specific. Uh, but there's some vocal that kicks in at the end of this trailer that makes me think it's. I really thought it was just a cover of that song for a second. Ah, oh, that sounds so much like it. It mm. might be not. It might not be, though. It might be its own thing. But I got real Zone of the Enders. Well. Mind. Get a good get a good screen cap of uh of, of yeah, Keely here. Keely on the left uh, side of the stage. Is there anything with Keely on the left? No. There oh, we go. The, Neil Druckmann. Like there has to be. Yes. A... That about okay. sums it up. Yes. So how do we oh do? God, this is a poor showing. <laughs> uh, all right, let's just go through. Bad. It's going to be a lot of typing. Uh, I think I have a zero. Start it off with some Street Fighter Six. Alien's Dark Descent. Oh, dude. If you're going to ask me what I remember Callisto from the show, like, Protocol. Fuck. More Warfare 2. Flashback 2. Remember that? That was wild. Were you taking notes? Which fire? This is all off the dome. Fort Solace. Routine. Black Adam with the Rock. Outriders. We had some Fall Guys. Uh, oh, Stormgate. New RTS from the StarCraft people. <laughs> yeah, fucking Stormgate. High Water. Gate. That was a... You, you you seemed intrigued by High Water. Is that the shooter card no, game? No, High Waters was the climate change. You're on a river, like a raft boat. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love adventure games, so I'm an easy man to please. Uh, replaced was Touched On. It was the game made by the uh, Ukrainian developer. Uh, oh couldn't yeah, be, couldn't be shown. American Arcadia was the weird. Uh, that seemed neat. Yeah, it's definitely interesting, right? Like it's more provoking than most other things shown today. Unfortunately, once again, I think I'm just continuing to learn about myself. That more than anything, I just I I, I appear to only care about novelty anymore. Just. Show me something different that I haven't seen before, and I'm instantly like, mm -hmm. like, uh, another battle royale, or uh, another Call of Duty, or uh, another DLC for this game that we saw five years ago. Like, over it, man. Give me some ideas. So I want to see here when we list all of these here, uh, how many of these games we know the genre of. It's a lot more than I think we. It might than, than be. You think. It might be. Like what was Super People? You did not memorize this show, no, man. I absolutely did. What do you think? Uh -huh. I like, wrote it down on a pen or something? <laughs> <laughs> the 
way. <laughs> oh god, the Samsung game. It was hug. in there. It had can, more time than you, some stuff that was shown. Can you save this notepad so I can make chapters later? <laughs> You're doing a lot of the Blake work here. Yeah, I will afterwards. Uh, are you editing it or am I editing it? Oh, I don't know. I'm down to do it. I can uh, I can do the chapters anyway after the fact. The Last of Us doesn't deserve title case. Absolutely not. <laughs> Man. That was a lot of stuff. A lot of the stuff that I don't really. Yeah, care about. I'm right there with you, man. I, I'm right there with you. I don't so let's know. Get, let's, let's at least go through some stuff here. Musical guests, none. Are, what? <laughs> Wild, dude, dude. I think I got a, I I got a zero. No way, did you? No, no Vampire the Masquerade, right? Oh, you I played guess. the field that on the that one. Point. <laughs> yeah, that was the pity. That was that was my pity. Uh. That was my pity one. I, we didn't even guess. I was thought about this after it started. I'm like, man, there could be some Hogwarts stuff in here. There, there was none. Apparently, it is a known thing that like Jack shit's coming out this year. Is that true? Why? Yeah, I think we're, I think we're hitting our pandemic it's delay not insomnia, uh, lag behind. But, like, there is new Spider Man. Do I get a? Pity I'll give point you a pity point. There Do we I get go. a half a point. No one will know the difference. I mean, there's always the Capcom showcase for Dragon's Dogma 2, right? I mean... I guess, I guess, I, I don't really know what I expected, because, like... Some of, like, the big guys were here, just not for anything that I might have thought. It's like, I don't think I got... Which I guess, I think yeah. I got a zero. We don't know if it had cards, but I think you beat me, man. Like, I... I had nothing. I was really confident on like 90% of my picks. Uh, I'm okay to call this one a wash because I don't think either of us on either of our, on, on any of our yeses were this quite was bad. <laughs> I was, I was like uh, nine for 18 on Sony's. Ugh. <laughs> man. Well, to be to be fair, they sort of told you what was coming, right? They they were, they said it like ahead of the time. They were like, "Okay, we're gonna have a couple of third party things, and we're gonna focus on PSVR 2. We didn't get any sort of preamble for this thing. <laughs> the only preamble we got was Jeff Keeley, like, "Please temper your expectations." The, even Jeff Keeley was like, "Okay, we know this isn't a good." Well, it's year. so it's such a stupid thing to say because you spend like five months on the build up, like hyping up your summer games fest, and then like two days before, you're like, "Yo, temper your expectations." Like, what did you expect people to think it's you were gonna like, do, Jeff? Like, you told them for nine months to get psyched. Part of me kind of feels like we are reaching the saturation point, right? Where it's like, um, like obviously these these sorts of things are making money for people, but it's like. How many times can, like, how long can you support a same, like, the one game before, like, your marketing buzz just goes down the toilet? And, like, I'm starting to, f I'm, I'm getting the impression that, like, a lot of these companies don't particularly care because their dedicated fan bases are making them so much money that it's like, why do they, ha why should they give a shit about, Pretty much. like, these, these giant marketing cycles? And it's like, Pretty much. I don't know. The whole thing's starting to feel like an afterthought, which is kind of a shame. I can't tell if we're getting older, these shows are getting worse, or if it's both. Oh, it's both. both. It's, like, both. I, I, it's both. You go back to some of the other... E now, there are some bad E3 conferences, but there are also some oh, sure. really like, good ones. Whatever. Uh, like, it's not Sony 06 or Konami 2011, right? Like, it's not that. There's even, like, a Sony 2016 same... that was ridiculously good. Uh, I don't remember that year in particular. Uh, I remember one of them was, was real like, good. Yeah, I was like FF7. Uh, yeah. Was that the first one after they stopped going to E3? No, it was an E3 one because they had like a whole orchestra there and it was super good. It was like Uncharted 4, uh, Last Guardian. Like there were a ton of good games shown there. Uh, God of War, the God of War remake. I think Last yeah. of Us 2 was I mean, there. Just... Like it was nuts. Man, I think we're just starting to see like the, all these ripple effects from the pandemic. It's like. Not only are like people not making games, they're not making them. In, I feel like we saw that last year. To as, be as, as much of, a, yeah. I mean, we're feeling it this whole time. It's like people haven't been making games. The 
people have been pushing their games back and so they haven't been making new ones. People can't buy the new consoles. So I feel like I feel like there's a big hesitation from a lot of these studios. Like, what are the PS5 games? It's been it's like we're two years out. What do you mean? You like have Demon Souls, six you them? have Ratchet and Clank, and you have that Spider Man right? game. And Horizon? And like, Is that on PC? Forbidden West? I don't know. Yeah, not the yeah. second one. I the think first one definitely is. I, I th- Horizon until dawn. Horizon in, uh, until dawn was on is on okay. is on okay. PC. <laughs> but no, I mean I don't know. But then there's also a part of me that thinks like think about how the PS3 started off. What do you mean it had Lair? Came out. Yeah, five hundred and ninety nine US dollars Lair. for the privilege to buy Haze and Haze top and, tier games. Yeah. Man. What about the even even the <laughs> PS4 generation like. Uh, with the Xbox One, yeah. do you want Rise, Son of Rome? Get excited! And like, maybe it's just taken a while. Maybe it's just taken a while, but I feel like I don't know. I I feel like there's something different, but I can't put my finger on if that's actually true the or not. Fact so that uh, Hayes and The Last of Us are in the same generation blows my mind. Uh, <laughs> right? Like, yeah. It's a thing. Yeah, and like God of War three and was a ps3 game and then god of war god of war is like ps4 that like that wasn't too much far apart like i don't know man there's something different and i think we're getting a whole bunch of different factors all swirling around at once that is making video games not as not as exciting i mean i'm, I'm still excited maybe that's so this will lead into our next bit oh here. sure 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 so, so what i did at the end of the sony one i want to keep it going here as a trend is just go through okay. each of the things shown here i was real loose i was like excite meh or like wary i think if i wasn't quite sure uh next to each of the, sure. each of the titles here so street fighter 6 i'm gonna take a guess that we're both pretty meh on street fighter 6 it, it's it's weird because i am but it's not because i think that game in particular was meh it's because i think i'm just not a big yeah, yeah, yeah. fighting this game is guy this is entirely but... subjective street fighter 6 is probably cool. gonna be yeah. a perfectly good fighting game but I don't care about Street Fighter Six. It's more where we're going here. Yes. Aliens Dark Descent. Eh. Eh, not for me. The trailer was cool. The twin stick shooter, not as hot. Callisto Protocol? I get looked pretty good. Eh? I get looked pretty good. I might even put an excite here. Oh, okay. I, I want more games. I want more sci fi games. And we, we, we saw a lot of sci fi games today. Sure. Uh, but like dark gritty sci-fi, I feel like has not been a thing in games since Dead Space. Like what else? I mean, I guess Alien Isolation, but you know. Yeah, it's not, it's, that's not my favorite style of sci-fi, but I do. It's not my favorite. It's, it's good to get but something I different. Want representation for it. You know, I think uh, about this a while or a lot, and I, you know, the number of settings that I enjoy isn't actually all that high. Mm-hmm. Personally, like. Honestly, I get most excited when things are like don't have like are not a setting pe- like a setting piece. Like, what do you I don't mean know. by not a setting? When things piece? just like, like when like when things just like take place in the fucking world. Oh, oh, on Earth. It's like, okay, yeah. I, like honestly, that's like that's call me boring, call me vanilla if you want, but it's like I don't. I get excited more, and you've known this about me for a while, but I am much more of a like a character story person than I am a lore mm-hmm. story person. Yeah. And so like all these high concept settings can be good, but like for me, it's not like I'm sitting here going like, Oh yeah. Sci-fi or Oh yeah. Medieval. It's like, I don't know. I need a little bit more than that. I don't particularly care one See, way or the other. That's why I like fantastical settings. Cause when used appropriately, you can craft a scenario in your fantasy world, justify it via the world building to present your yeah. character driven story with a very specific oh, yeah. challenge tailored to the character. That's like apex that's awesome. fantasy, right? Is that what you should be doing? You should have cool world building, but it should be used to put your characters in situations where they have a chance to interact with it. Uh, and I think, Dark sci-fi is not something that gets a lot of video game representation. Mm. You get yeah. a lot of colorful sci-fi, uh, like what Starfield is probably going to be. Uh, Star Wars, right? Where, it, you know, it might as well not, you know, there's no blood in Star Wars, really, right? Uh, I mean, yeah. 40K is a bit different, but even that, it's like colorful. Like Starcraft is colorful for as dark as it wants to pretend it is. Uh, uh, like, for me, it's like, 
and I think this is a problem a lot with just video games in general, but uh, I feel like a lot of the sci-fi trappings are just used to like justify these like big ex- like set pieces or like power fantasies where it's just like people are like in video games, especially where it's just like space is just a vehicle for, oh, we have to get these cool spaceships and these cool mech suits and these cool sci-fi guns and jetpacks. And it's like, it's all about that sort of stuff, which is fine. Video games... I think are unique in that I don't necessarily think they have to have like these big, like uh, expansive worlds and stories, right? Like it's fine just to be about the gameplay and that stuff is cool. But uh, like, I can't think of a lot of games where that like sci-fi is used to talk about like, just maybe not talk about, but just like a, to focus on that st- like story in general. Like uh, a lot of it seems to be like, just like set dressing for these cool video game set pieces and that's fine uh i'm trying to think of the name of it i can't it, it it was on game pass i didn't play it and then it left game pass but it seems super neat it was like a what if like an adventure game where you played as like a guy on like a moon station or something hmm i don't know and yeah i can't i'm not gonna be able to remember off the top of my head but uh i think basically at the end of all this rambling Make more adventure games. You I think me? we should just chalk it up to most video games have bad writings and don't take full effect of the settings that they typically play stuff in. But uh, moving forward of not making the most I'll of it. with that. Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> <laughs> eh. Okay. I don't know. Is there a middle category? Wary? I feel like... I don't know. We can come up with no, one. No, not even this that. episode 2. We, can, we like, have ground to make up. What do you want to... Like, I am completely, like, neutral on Modern Warfare 2. Like, I'm not like, eh. But I'm not like, eh, either. I'm like, eh. Okay. So, so, mm. so you're not wary. You're not like super afraid of it being bad. Like a uh, hesitant, excited. Like, oh, I really want this to be good, but it looks like it's going to be bad. It's just like, I don't know. I like, you mess too I strong of a word. Feel, I don't feel one, like one way or another about Modern Warfare 2, but I'm not like trashing it. It's that kind of, like, I don't know. There's a difference. Like to, ambivalence. I don't know. There's, like, there's a difference to me between Modern Warfare 2 and Aliens Dark Descent. Aliens Dark Descent, I'm like, I don't really care for it. Modern Warfare 2 is like, eh, Here, we'll, we'll, we'll keep I'm not the, over the word moon count about it. low. The letter count low. We'll, do, we'll give Ooh, it a shot. okay. You know? Sure. Flashback I'm okay to with that this. sci-fi 30-year-old platform shooter. Eh. Eh. I don't know. Seemed neat, but we didn't get much of it. Yeah. yeah Witchfire, okay though. This seems Witch cool. Fire I am I am cool. excited for that. Hell yeah. I'm more I'm I'm also curious to know how just like how much Doom it is. Cause with Doom with Doom and Doom derived and Doom twenty sixteen derived games, um I don't know that I'm the type of person that will just play like just straight up like monster closets for eight hours in a row. Like I don't know that I can do that anymore. Like that doesn't Depends hold me. The so I'm, on. Yeah, so that's going to be it, right? So we'll see. Um, I'm excited. I, I enjoy Doom a lot. Uh, I, I enjoy other like arena shooters, like Bullet Per Minute is just that. Uh, so yeah, if the gameplay yeah. is good, you know. Uh, Fort Solis. I don't remember this what that is. This is the Unreal 5. People show up to a Martian base. It's the one where it had the logo in the background for like four hours while the voice actors talked about it. Troy Baker and Roger Clark. Uh, oh right that one the 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 not dead space game game. that's also probably dead space they Uh, showed like nothing of the game right so hard to get excited about it might be good we just don't have enough info to form an opinion routine was a 100 percent cg trailer they showed no gameplay but the trailer the robot in the trailer looked kind of cool and mick gordon that makes good music i don't know what to now, if that game is a horror mm-hmm. game, they showed a little bit, right? Like they had it the a little Outlast. What we yeah, thought you called it on the Outlast. Well, that, yeah. that was the one that we thought was a uh, plasma cutter, but then it was like a scanner mm-hmm. or something like a, that. Yeah. I thought that was gameplay. Oh, know. that would be I really good per- looking gameplay. No, obviously, right? But it's like it seemed like it was that sort of style, right? I can't tell anymore. I guess is what our, where yeah. I'm at. I can't tell between CG trailer and touched up gameplay. But for me, on routine. I'm like, okay, like I would be excited about it, but I don't have the stomach for horror games. So make of that what you will. That counts. I am not going to play that game, but I would watch someone else play it. Yeah, that's that's, that's an excite. Uh, Black Adam, the show. Fuck. 
Just are we? Is is there something worse than meh? I feel like there has to be. Like, like do a, I want <laughs> this project to actively fail? Do I feel that spiteful? No, I don't. <laughs> so like, it's like oh fuck or something. Just uh, ugh, ugh. UGH. <laughs> okay, we're actively disgusted <laughs> by its presence at the Summer Games Fest. Uh, Outriders, just like I would have rated the original yeah. game, five out of ten, the most mid experience you can find. Uh, yeah. Like Fall Guys for me is a definition of a shrug. Like, uh, eh, eh. are you feeling less it's good about meh. it? Like, I don't. Yeah. You, are you are you out on Fall Guys? I've been Guys? out since like two months after it. Oh sure, I yeah, like I'm sure Fall if I went Guys, back, it'd I... be fun. But like, I'm not booting up Fall Guys again. All right, uh, Storm Stormgate. I will take. I'll, I'll leave this I one to you. I will take whatever RTS, even if it's bad. <laughs> if we had a game, or if we had a year where they showed like eight RTSs and RTSs, and only one was good, I'd still count that as a win, just because there's more RTSs. Uh, mm-hmm. so I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, yeah, if they say uh, we've been burned so many times by the, from the developers of Bioshock, from the developers of Starcraft oh, 2, yeah, right. from the d- developers of Dota, and they almost, like, it never has any influence at all on the end product. Right, like, it, they're not direct, like, video games take a yes. million people yeah, to make, right? So, unless, uh, unless it's, like, Jonathan Blow making another indie game by himself, like, that, that doesn't mean much to what me. What I think is cool is that we saw... A human faction, and we saw a demon faction, and to me that speaks to asymmetrical gameplay, uh, which mm. is just like you know StarCraft. You have your Zerg, Protoss, Terran, uh, and I, th- I think Rush. that asymmetric, like uh, asymmetric, that amount of asymmetry, asymmetry. I was gonna say like asymmetry ish. I don't know. Uh, lends itself to a lot more replay value than Terran versus Terran. Sure. Or, like, I think Age of Empires goes a little too weak, where, like, yeah, you have the Chinese culture versus the, uh, like, British culture, but, like, one's better at farming, one's better at boats. It's not sure. that big of a deal. Uh, it's like variations on a, on a, yeah, like, on it a does affect your play style, but it's not to the same level of, like, Zerg plays different than Terran. So, like pick your perk or something almost rather it's than pick like your perk versus pick your, pick class. your class yeah that's a great way to describe it so i'm much more interested in stormgate then uh high waters yeah yeah more more games like that you know i don't remember what replaced it replaced was the ukrainian one that we weren't able to look at right like it's just not enough info oh yes like, i'm not discounting yeah. it yeah hearts out to those yeah. guys it's a it's a rough situation uh american arcadia that was an exciting game. Want to, yeah, want to see more neat. of that? Marvel Midnight Suns, another CG only. No idea what this game yeah. plays like. It's by the Firaxis people who made XCOM, so that makes me think excite. It's a, it's a coin flip, but right? it could be bad. So I think this is it going to be an Avengers or is it going to be Guardians of the Galaxy? Who knows? I think it'll be like an XCOM. That's what Firaxis makes. So I see. Wary is you're excited about it, but, but you're it, not optimistic. Exactly. You want it to succeed. Uh, yeah, I see. I see. Yeah, I have interest in it. I want it to be good, but the card, the deck's kind of stacked against it. You know. Uh, Cuphead is more Cuphead. I'm sure it'll be very good, but like for me personally, yep. like, yeah, I I'm don't. not gonna look forward to Cuphead, the delicious last course. You know, <clears throat> as great of a name as it is, Midnight Fight Express. Is also a good name. That's the one man show. This is the one man show from uh, Polandville. Uh, Yeah, you know what? I would. I don't know if I'd go so far to say as I don't know if I'm excited excited, either. Yeah, but but it's like okay. I I don't know. Intrigued. (laughs) I know. I know. We need to keep it simple. We'll put excite. Give him the benefit of the doubt. It's made by one guy. That's cool. Uh, Warframe. Meh. No, yeah, nothing to say on Warframe. Yeah. Heart Honkai Star uh, Rail. Get your get your gatches. Me personally, these two are ugh for me. But you know, I'm, no, I'm good with that. The monetization of Genshin is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> TMNT. I like that it's not a remake of the old arcade games. That's where I'm at. But I don't really care. We'll just put. We'll just put meh. 
super people we know nothing about. Like I can't even make enough info yeah. to say whether it's bad or not. Or do I? Or am I so ugh if at these CG trailers with no info? Like I. I sort of kind of was okay with the tone and stuff that they were doing, but I don't know what that game is. So. It reeks of like free to play arena shooter Overwatch clone. Let me type this into Google real quick and see yeah, if I can, can find, find an anything answer. from uh, Super People. Super People game. I can also. I battle can Royale also. Do Super this. People. It is a battle royale. Prince of battle royale shooter that will Looks... revolutionize, revolutionize how you think about the genre to control the super shooter. So you're a hero based. Battle Royale. Have we not had that combo? Wait, they just had straight like, up gameplay, like the... but they didn't show this? So it's PUBG. It did look a lot closer to PUBG. I mean, eh, personally, I'm much more of a first person than a third person guy. I kind of like uh, third person, you know? I can dig it. Yeah. I can dig it. I mean... Yeah, all right. I don't know. You excited? No. <laughs> I would say I'm excited. Okay. Oh, wow. One Piece Odyssey. Yeah. It's just not for me. Like, it looks good. Like, if you're a One Piece fan, you've probably been asking for that type of game for years, right? Like a Final Fantasy proper adventure game with with the crew. But, like, it just does nothing for me, you know? Soul Hackers too. Uh, I like that the soundtrack kind of sounds like Zone of the Enders, but that's about. Persona has given me a lot of Shin Megami Tensei goodwill. Okay. Uh, but I will probably not play this game. Apparently, this is the the sequel to uh, or this is the sequel to the sequel of the demo of the Devil Summoner. Oh God. Uh, Shin Megami oh, Tensei sub series. That is a Kingdom Hearts level of franchising. So the thing with all the offshoots of SMT is that they all have like a different, they're like different variations on the JRPG, right? Like Persona is obviously like the the dating yep. sim uh, yep. one with the negotiation. SMT is the um, monster collecting. SMT is straight up yeah. and down. Soul Hacker, I think, or Devil Summoner, they had one that was almost like a beat em up. Oh, oh okay. Um, well, not quite. It was like. Whenever you fought a dude, you you like did the crash and you went into like a battle arena and you could run around. Oh, that's kind of uh, neat. And I don't know if that's Devil Summoner. Or I'd not. be more interested in that kind of gameplay than honestly Personas. But yeah, I don't remember which of the which of the sub series that was. If it was Devil Summoner and Soul Hackers or not, but I think a lot of people are actually excited about Soul Hackers, at least on the Shin Megami Tensei subreddit. Okay. Are we are we gonna promote this? I'll give it a shrug if you, uh, but we'll give we'll we'll keep on with the shrug. Samsung Gaming Hub. Ugh. You said it. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that like you, you brought up an ex at first I was like, well this isn't why does this need advertised? But second, it's not it's harmless. It's not going to affect anybody. But the fact that you have to sure. own a Samsung TV also own an Xbox Game Pass subscription without owning any sort of smart device in the year of our Lord 2022 I mean, that can run the Xbox app. Maybe you don't have to. Like maybe they'll have, maybe it's their own. Is it their own cloud thing? Like are they competing against Luna? That seems ridiculous, but who knows? I mean, Xbox already has cloud streaming games. Like yeah. that's I think it's 100% what it is, but you would have to have a subscription unless it comes free with a Samsung TV in which case that would be nuts. Now the one thing the thing I, that would always, the thing that I'm, 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 I'm always surprised no one ever tried, was making a TV that was basically like, okay, if you want to play Apex Legends Mobile on your TV and totally fuck shit up, go ahead. This has this TV can run Android. Oh, apps. like the go PS nuts. Vita, get the PlayStation TV stick. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, this just looks like yeah. the combined Stadia, GeForce Now, and Xbox. I mean, I get whatever, I guess, right? Like, is there a big enough user base for something like, like who, I don't know. Maybe like, this is like a, oh, hey, you know, mom and dad, I'm seven years old and I would like to play Halo, please. And mom and dad are like, okay, we have this TV. You're not getting an Xbox kid. Like, maybe? I, I mean, it's better to have more options than less options, right? Yeah. It just seems. It, it's, it's, it's bewildering. I, I don't understand. All right. Yeah. 
Yeah, Ugg is too rough on this. It's harmless at the end of the day. Give people more options. Yeah. Someone, you know, someone will use this and it'll fit their use case, and that's that's a cool thing. I shouldn't be so harsh on it. Uh, Capcom Arcade Stadium Two. Eh, eh, eh. eh. That's yeah. not Dragon's Dogma Two. <laughs> I saw the Capcom logo <laughs> on a scale like, <laughs> on a scale of zero to Dragon's Dogma Two. How hyped am I for Capcom Arcade Stadium 2? Like a 0.1, yeah, it, uh, man. Is anything Comca- or Comcast, is anything ca- Capcom just a meh unless no, it's Dragon's Dogma 2? Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak got a little in the sizzle reel. <laughs> I love me some Monster Hunter. DMC is really good. Double yeah. Cry, also made by the Dragon's Dogma person. So, you know, just saying. Like if they announced Bionic Commando 2, <laughs> I'd be pretty pumped. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. Wouldn't that sure. be cool, though? Yeah. yeah, you know what? Out of everything on this list, uh, Super Mario Strikers Brawl. There were some reviews up for this, right? And people said it has the tennis problem. Are of, there? And the golf problem of there's just not being there's enough. Just, there's just nothing yeah. to do. Nintendo, Ninten- like the recent evolution of Nintendo sports games is so upsetting to me. But because like because we've seen in the past that they can be good and excellent, but they're just yeah, not. We also had a. Uh, one of the Super Mario baseball games on the GameCube. And it had like a store. Yeah. It had like a move, Sluggers. like a game mode, like an adventure M- mode. Mr. Eyeballs yeah. was there. And you went and like you earned coins and then you bought stuff around the map and then you moved his faces and you fought different people. And it's like, that's cool. And Waluigi crop, crotch yeah. chopped people. If if they're, not, if they're not bringing back the Waluigi crotch chop for Super Mario Strikers Brawl, that'll be a zero out of 10. That's the only thing I want out <laughs> I of that game. I want Luigi to be like super like awesome <laughs> again like in his intro with his like spanish guitar intro <laughs> hell yeah 20, 2022 is the year of luigi uh metal hell singer i'll put excite i like rhythm shooters i'm finding oh that's that yeah. one yeah sure okay i'm excited for the query yeah me too yeah this game looks really good uh nightingale my new sql game the query i'll, I'll honestly even put mm. wary for the nightingale uh, yeah, sure. I like I, I also don't love the survival craft them up, but maybe if they have enough, it looked different. Yeah, maybe they can add some flavor, inject some flavor into that genre. You know, uh, now maybe there wasn't crafting. Maybe we just thought that. But oh, uh, dude, it seems like I cra- saw someone crafting. swing an axe at a tree and break a rock. Mm. There's gonna be crafting. Uh, Fuck, I should. Man. I just yeah. don't. I have to. I, I I don't. This is me. Old man shouts at clouds again. But like. Who? Who is sitting there going like, fuck yeah, I can't wait to craft more fucking food to fill up my hunger meter again. Yeah. Dude, people, like, who? man. People I, love, people love Rust. I know, people love like, Seven Days uh, to Die, which I think is like the worst one. The forest is really popular. Minecraft and is kind of like that. And I don't understand. Tell me about it. What's wrong with everybody? <laughs> is it me? No, it's the kids uh, that are wrong. <laughs> Right, like, this is, like, like okay, it's one hundred percent an old yeah. man moment, but I just uh. no. I mean, I'm with you. I'm with you. Uh, Saints Row. I if you're talking, yeah, about we'll the say game, the whole game because they did show. I am excited for Saints Row. Later. I'm curious. Okay. I mean, I'm excited for Dark Tide. I think Vermintide one and Which two one? Give have me your, been excellent, oh, right. and I think Dark Tide will just be more excellent. Uh, so yeah, absolutely. Those games are better than Left 4 Dead. Sure, I will. St- I will stand on that hill. Uh, Left 4 Dead Two is like a 2011 game at this point, man. Like yeah, like, but like even if you remove the setting, like not only do I find sure. the Warhammer setting more interesting than you know current Earth, but like I also think just from a game design perspective, I think they're more fun. But um, Layers of Fears, Bloober Team. I feel like this, this is the one where it's like, do we give it an uh or a meh? I wouldn't give it an ug. Uh. I also kind of wouldn't. It, it, like I said, when we were talking about it, I, I'm i morbidly curious. The first layer of fear is, I mean, it's really short, but like it's, it's quality. Like it was good. Yeah. I want Bloober Team to knock it out of the park just to yeah. like, because I think that'd be an interesting like story twist. I don't want like the only online. developers I want to fail that I want to fail are like Quantic Dream and like personally Neil and Druckmann. Neil Druckmann, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> but that's not like all of Naughty Dog. I like Naughty Dog games. Uh oh, so man. is does it deserve a wary? No, I mean like would you look when layers of fears come out, will you look into it? 
I feel like a hypocrite because like, despite the fact that I said so up above with that other game, probably no. not. I you don't wouldn't know. even look up like you I'm scrolling not, like, Reddit and you see layers of fear review thread. I'd click okay. on it. Yeah. If, that, if that's our metric, okay. then yes. Okay. Would I click on the review thread? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> would Put read the reviews Put it on the box <laughs> there you go <laughs> there's enough interest there it's not zero care but you know uh gotham knights i'm a little wary of this one i think if it's what we think it is if it's a open world rpg I oh mean, that's true don't yeah. let me just bull over these ratings but uh that's true i i in my mind this is a good end of the in show my mind this game is not because what it seems to be is like a spider, a DC Spider-Man, like an insomniac Spider-Man, right? Open world action yeah. game. But in my mind, I see Gotham Knights and I see what they showed. And I just think like Diablo. And I know that's not oh. an accurate, uh, like representation in my head. But that's what I think of. And I just think bad, but I don't, I don't know. Does open world action RPG. Okay. I don't know. It's it. I don't know. All right. I'm trying to see who made this game. Oh, that's also good to know. Warner Brothers Games Montreal. Would they make uh, Lord of the Rings War in games the North? Developed. I believe. Uh, they made Batman Arkham Origins. Mm-hmm. I tapped out after City. Yeah, people like some people think... like Night. Some people hate Night. It's they did not make Gotham Knight. Yeah. Well, Arkham Knight. They just. Yes, sorry, yes, Gotham Knights is this game. They did not make Arkham Knight. People like that game, yeah, but uh, Arkham Origins uh, was like the Christmas one, I think. It sort of got you lost in the Division? shuffle, but I don't think was... Carry on. Yeah. I don't know. That's the last game they made in 2013. They haven't been doing anything else for nine years, so... Eh, we'll see. Uh, so I broke The Last of Us into a couple categories, just because I think my opinion on these are all different. Mm-hmm. Uh, show I'll put exciting. If it's if it's an adaptation, really, because because what they showed there was Pedro Pascal mm. and young girl, which makes me think they're just oh that was one hundred percent Ellie, right? Oh yeah, but I didn't know her name, and I said Had Pedro Pascal, I didn't say Joel. Yeah, it's it's gonna be Joel sure. and Ellie, and if that's the case, then I think yeah, I think if you just do because the way the level system in Last of Us already is is episode by episode by episode. Oh yeah. So like if they do that I think they have a like, great in show. my mind I can think of like yeah. the different chapters of yeah, that you game. Yeah, the them escaping the city at the start. You have them yeah. uh Joel and Tess in the like Boston city and then they meet Ellie. Then yeah. you have suburbia. Like here's the Pittsburgh. You have uh, suburbia with Bill yeah. where they fix the truck. Then you go to Pittsburgh. Um uh, and then what's after Pittsburgh? Yeah, and it go, it, yeah sort of yeah. goes from there. There's the village. Well, you meet up like your brother's school, place. I think you go and then into you go to the point. village. You go to the university for the cure. Joel gets hurt. You go to Winterland. Man, we're really just... Ellie. Yeah. Spoiling it for all the Demanding, people who are going to be the first time playing through on the remake. Uh, <clears> but... Yeah, and watching this video to the three so, yeah, hour I point. think you can make an excellent but, uh, 10 episode 12 episode season yeah i i I, th- I trust hbo more so than others uh but i will click on i will read the reviews <laughs> of that show with great interest i'll probably even watch it uh or at least i won't watch I'll it it's terrible it. why not uh multiplayer yeah yeah no, I don't think I have room in my heart for that sort of thing anymore. But like, you know, I'm sure it was yeah, good at the time. Yeah, if they just expand upon Last of Us One multiplayer, it'll be good. I just don't have enough room in my life yeah. for another multiplayer game. So, remake of one on PC and PS5. On one hand, I think wholly unnecessary. On one hand, we did just have a conversation where we were like, let. It's good to be able to play a game on more platforms. Yeah, and if they're bringing it to PC. That's good. On the other hand, it's Last of Us One. It's not that old. It's it, it's, it's just baffling. Like I I don't know. I but, is this the first one of these? I mean, RE Four. I feel like is RE Four is older not, than not Last the same of thing, Us. right? Yeah, yeah. It, by a considerable but even that margin. Has had a but, ton but still, of remasters and remake. Not remakes. Remasters why? and ports. 
Well, I sort of felt the same thing about RE4, and that's a game that's like almost 10 years older, where I was like, Does R- is it time for RE4? Yeah, man. And if I was thinking that about, about that game, like this one, I don't but know. But is that enough for me to like so disdain what... it? I don't know. No. Like... like for me, no. For me, my opinion on it is I think that it's... I think that it's generally good, but just sort of bewildering. It 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 it, it, it baffles me, but I'm not going to say here like it shouldn't exist. I I don't know. Part of me wants to say it shouldn't exist because I don't want this to become a a trend. I think I think you said it earlier, but I'm good if you want to remake and port every single game ever made. Maybe they just don't deserve a space at a convention. You know, maybe we don't need an announcement of this. Uh, like, I don't know. Like, a remake is whatever, but, like, a port? They said like they said ground-up remake. That is not a ground-up remake. Oh, it is, yeah. That is a, that is a remaster, it, it, it dude. They weren't pretty... redesigning levels. They weren't changing cutscenes. The narrative's the exact same. Like, they weren't... That's a remaster. I guess. I feel like that's pushing the limit of a remaster. Like, they're putting all new... Like rigs on it and shit, like or not, or no. It's they the said same, they were using the this, same exact uh, captures. They didn't the same bring animations in or yeah. bring the same people back to re-record. It is just a remaster. It's a fancy motion. In my heart, remaster. I feel like that's a step. Nah. I feel like it's a step beyond, but I don't yeah, know what to we'll call it. To, but I'm we'll not too agree concerned. To disagree on that one. But, but yeah, it's, overall, you know, overall, yeah. we are really bad at predicting things, and there's a couple <laughs> of neat, neat things, and a lot yeah. of. Just kind of weak showing. Uh, it's like Kanye West's new album. There's a, a smattering of really good shit in there, but man, was that bloated. <laughs> is that a commentary on Kanye West? It is a commentary on Donda. Enough. Not Donda 2? Uh, like hour to... <laughs> I, I wasn't buying one of those fucking <laughs> things to listen to Donda 2. Uh, yeah, so I think just due to its length, yeah. a bit weaker than the Sony show. Uh, uh, yeah. I always have fun. We'll see how with these. Oh sorts yeah, of things. I mean it's it's fun to see where the new stuff. It's for me. It's like a it's like a fucking slot machine. Every time that world premiere comes world on the premiere. screen, I'm like, okay. It's I'm like pulling the lever at at a, at a casino in Reno, right? Where it's like, <laughs> and may, sometimes you know you know sometimes uh, the quarry comes out and and a a a, a, bu- a cup of quarters <laughs> comes pouring out of the machine, and sometimes. Fucking Dwayne the Rock Johnson's there, going, "Hey, you just got hey, buy my energy know, drink." Three mismatching symbols. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you might get your wish at the Microsoft show for a new Forza, uh, yeah. or something to do with Forza. But beyond that, we pretty much have Devolver, which I don't know if I we'll think, cover. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Xbox. Looking at our list here, it seems like we probably just had our ambitions set a little too high. We thought that it was going to be a bigger event than it was. Yeah, I think that I think that's accurate. Uh, we did not heed K- Jeff Keeley's Twitter advice. We did advice. not temper our expectations. Uh, <laughs> oh man! Yeah, so I don't know. Yeah, uh, just looking at the schedule after this, you know, all that's left in this whole like summer games thing is going to be Devolver, which I think is already aired. It aired at like six p.m. today, so uh, which is fine. Xbox Bethesda, I think, is on Sunday along with the PC gaming show. I'll probably yeah. watch both of those. The PC cool. gaming show, if you thought this was oh, yeah. long, it's a lot longer for less content, but I I enjoy it. Yeah, let's not what let's not what let's not talk over the over the PC game show. What do you think? Oh, just let the PC game show ride the whole time. I might do the PC game show. Uh just cuz yeah, I'm right, I'm I'm a diehard on well, this we'll stuff. See. But would you have interest in the Xbox one? That's going to be a lot more well paced, I think. Oh, you're trying to get me to you're trying to get me to do this on camera. We can, sure. we can answer later. Uh, and then <laughs> Capcom is doing a conference, which I'll probably also also cover. Uh, yeah. But yeah, thanks well, yeah. for coming on, Zach. Yeah, thanks for having yeah. me. It was a real privilege for you to join me today. <laughs> uh, I'm honored. Uh, oh well, we hope you enjoyed our conference calls. Yeah, we're bad. And I guess. Uh, yeah maybe we'll maybe we'll get another maybe we'll get more hits next time yeah i mean if any of you guys really disagree with one of our takes you know feel free to let us know (laughs) Mm -hmm. sound off Uh, sound off let it let us know you watched this for three hours let us know i want someone who was like what was the first thing shown i want me someone to say what the fuck street fighter 6 looks great 
when I my first words out of my mouth this <laughs> a recording was, man, I don't give a fuck about Street Fighter Six. So that's what I'm looking forward to. So. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> all right well we're signing off here guys thank you for watching and have a great have day a great day all right later bye